2019 Tekken 7 World Championships. We're back here on day two and we're about to start off our top 16 here for Tekken 7. Bit of change of rules right now. Mm -hmm. The whole tournament so far, first to two. Right now, we're shifting. We're going to that first to four. Best of seven. Double. And Double. to top it all off, single elimination. You lose, you're out. You're done. You're done for. You're sent home on a boat. In saying that, the longer set does benefit a lot of players. Mm -hmm. Depends on your play style. For some people, they think of it as a chance, you know, to try different characters. But the whole meta changes because you have more time to condition your opponent, more time to build on mind games, more times to just build up situations. Mm -hmm. And I think seeing that and trying to see what happens as the game progresses, like you go to the fifth game, the se sixth game, the seventh, I think it's always really, really interesting. Yeah, definitely. Uh, the more time you have, the more time you can download your opponent, be downloaded yourself, uh, think of new strats like on the fly. Um, it's, and, and it's a bit more comfortable for a lot of people because they don't feel the pressure of like, okay, if I lose in two games, I'm done. And as you can see right now on the screen, we have our bracket up now. We have, we're have we going to have Poland versus Tunisia, Philippines versus Italy, Japan versus New Zealand, Thailand versus Indonesia, Saudi Arabia versus Finland, Switzerland versus Serbia, USA versus Chinese Taipei, Korea versus Mexico. Those will be the matchups for the first round here in top 16. And we'll get that underway. The first one on stream will be Saudi Arabia versus Finland. So we're going to have the Sam brother versus Jopelix. Yep. Um, so just to let you guys know the ones that we're going to have on stream. Uh, so we've got uh, Saudi Arabia versus Finland. We've got, um, sorry, one second. Saudi Arabia versus Finland. Uh, we will have Poland versus Tunisia. Yep. Uh, Japan versus New Zealand. And finally, the USA versus Chinese Taipei. Mm -hmm. Those will be the matches on stream for the first round of this uh, top 16. Yep. It's going to be pretty good. Uh, so now, we've had a lot of good matches, uh, ups and downs, a lot of hype. Uh, but now we're really getting down to the meat of things. So a lot of the, the most skilled players are going to be popping up and playing against each other. So we've, you know... To win this tournament at this point, you need to win one, two, three, four. Four more sets. And that's, a, that's a tall order at this stage. Indeed. So single elimination, there's no bracket reset for grand finals or anything. It's just straight up first to five. So going into this matchup, we have the Sam brother who's shown that strong Bob. He's been playing Bob throughout the whole tournament. I don't think we've seen him play any other character. Mm -hmm. Joe Pelix, I think, was scheduled to have a match on stream, mm -hmm. but there was an issue with that, and he. so we haven't seen him play. But for those at home who have followed Joe Pelix, game uh, career throughout this Tekken World Tour or as, as of late well, they will know he's a very strong Claudia player from Finland one of the top players in Europe he done really well at Evo this year as well he I beat think, Saint yes he beat Saint I think he placed in top 16 yep. so out of a thousand I think 1,800 people yep. you know that's amazing excellent and we'll be getting that matchup underway so in terms of Bob versus Claudia is there anything that you can think of that should be discussed here um, not too much. Uh, this is a matchup I don't usually see too often myself. What about you? How do you feel about this one? So one thing that's interesting is Claudio is one of the few characters in the game where if you duck the first jab of his 1-2 and try to launch the second, it's not possible with most characters. There are very few characters that could do that. One of the characters is Bob, which is while standing 2-1. It has a very, very weird hurt box when he's doing the 2. Sometimes it goes under mid in certain situations. And... Because of that, I don't expect it to happen often, but something of note. Mm. Also, Bob is, has really good jab range. One of the best jab ranges in the game. Really good for floating Claudia out of forward three, out of his running two, stopping him at a range where he might want to do a mix-up with the running two or the forward forward four. Stuff like that is very, very um, pivotal in this matchup. You want to keep him out with that jab. It's a very strong no, jab. So I think we'll be seeing uh, the Sam brother no. using that. He's shown to use a lot of pokes, jabs, down forward ones. And when he's at the wall, he likes to go ham. I think Joplix has to stop him from going ham at the wall, and I think that's will keep him in this set. So we're getting underway in our first match in this uh, round of 16. Joplix versus the Sam brother, Finland versus Saudi Arabia, Cordio versus Bob. They're just swinging for the fences right now. That whole what, first 15 seconds of, or 12 seconds of the round, they were just swinging them at each other, blocking, getting hit, swinging, swinging, swinging. And then that hit confirmed with the down forward 3-1. Wow. All right, people are getting hype over here. 
How do you feel about this outfit with Claudio? It reminds me of Josie. I think it's very floral, I would say. Yeah, both of them have floral shirts on. <laughs> They're trying to outmatch one another in terms of the clothing. Back to the wall. And see, this is what Sam the Brother does his work when he's at the wall. But right now, he's got his back to the wall. Jokalix trying to get that wall slap with that back one. Oh, splat. Oh, running Superman punch. Gets that blue stuff, uses it straight away for those plus nine three. Oh, that damn. Gets that off axis conversion with the standing point to the 2 1 2 screw. Oh, very nice. One more time. Let's go. Both plays in rage. Goes for the down 2 1. Oh, 50, 50, 50. The range, right? Goes with the jabs and the string there. Oh, oh, and, oh okay, so I, I think he expected a down jab or a crouch jab because that is zero on hit. Yep. And if he'd done a jab or anything like that, he might have traded. Bob's jab does have good tracking, so I think he wanted to do a crouch jab to avoid any pressure on the zero frames. And Sam Brother read that. Going into this third match, a uh, third round rather. Oh, going, going for low. So Tried to get it with the counter hit there, but just nobody home. That's the second time he has it punished for his down You have to be ready to punish that. Minus 13 on block. Oh, that's the hit. first hit of the hell sweep. See that last hit of the down 4 3 plus 4 string? Commits, sorry, commits to the rage drive. Oh, Music there's the counter hit. This should oh. be it. Oh my god, the wow. damage on that last hit. I, Man, I gotta remember that one. It does like 19 or 21 damage on the last Ooh. hit alone. Is that unscaled or what? Yeah, it, it hits at 60%, yes. Oh, okay. Alright, here we go. Side steps to realign. Will he get him to the wall? Go to the back 3 ender. Once again, he's setting up shop at the wall. Sam Brother doesn't break the one plus two throw, goes to the back one to get that wall splat, catches him stepping to the left. Ball out of the air. Oh, first hit of the whole again. Cannonball at him. Oh, no duck. No oh, oh, caught him ducking, but the wall, how unfortunate. Goes for the ball. cannonball mix up. Down back 2 1. Sam Brother oh, in rage, but it won't no matter. Rip. Okay. Alright. Down forward 3 1 for the win. That was pretty intense. So Joplix takes the first game in this first of four. <laughs> now, the thing is, we have to note how do these players build up on the mind games? So far, what we can see is I think the Sam Brother has missed out on two crucial punishes on the down forward two from Claudio. So Joplix has seen that, you know what, he's not punishing my counter hit launcher. My counter hit launcher, that's 14 frames, it tracks decently to both sides. Yeah. You know what, I might use it again. Yeah, and it then worked it, out for it. And then again, every time the Sam brother no, has had a chance to pressure at the wall, Joplix doing his best to now. get away from the wall, yes, whether it's it through movement, big side big rolling on the ground after a knockdown, or just buttons. Yep. And either Fun. way, the Sam brother just not being able to get what he wants. But in saying that, gets that counter hit, crouch that one, gets him to the wall. Let's see if Joplix can get away from the wall once again, jabbing his way out of there, commits Ooh. to the second hit once again. Getting getting a lot of mileage out of that one. You don't see that hit that many times usually. But I guess he's expecting the high, so he just keeps ducking. There's that back one, using it so much at this neutral. It gets the wall bound. Oh, oh, couldn't convert properly. Unfortunate there, he wanted uh, some sort of distance specific combo. One plus two, good break. Oh, power crush. Alright. The classic, finishing yeah, the round with the power crush, keeping it safe, keeping it simple. Although it's a bit of just launches I really like trouble. that hop kick, and I really like this combo. Goes for the max hit. Oh. One for that running two, one of those blue stuff. Goes oh, for the plus gets, range. Oh, wow. to be big damage. Back three. Oh my days. Doesn't duck. Doesn't need oh, to commit to it. Wow. And just in time, seven yeah. golden that is Joe Felix on a tear right now. Excellent work here. Fight. Sam Brother needs to swing the momentum back in his favor, and that's one way to do it. Gets that left hook, counter hit, combo to the wall. Same situation as last time. Oh, let splat. Here we go. It's going to be heavy damage right now. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh. <laughs> running kick cross up. Dragon Ball Fighter Z. Yeah. <laughs> we got cross ups? <laughs> This guy's blocking Fight. strings all day and gets crushed up with that while running string. Screws him out of the air with the cannonball into the floor. Alright, it's gonna be some heavy damage. Let's see how it goes. Okay, let's see what's for Oki. Nice break. He's using the, the throw because Claudio used to. A lot of Claudio players have this um, like built in muscle memory that Claudio has issues opening players up. So they built, they started doing a lot of throws, especially in previous season, mm -hmm. but these days Claudia doesn't really have that much trouble opening the up, he's got really good moves these days. Alright, oh, uses the blue oh, stuff, no the wall messes him, up, messes him up once again. Yep. Also, I should point out, just like that Sam brother is just straight back into it, it's 2-2 in rounds. 
gets that hop kick, might carry him to the wall, goes to the back three, Ooh. and this should be it. Shoulder end up. Wow. Jopelix takes it. 2-0 so far. The crowd goes wild. Now, we've only seen the Sam brother play Bob. Only. But I've heard he plays Katarina, mm -hmm. and I've heard he plays some other characters. Would you, do you think that would benefit him? Like uh, in the in the next game, I don't know because right now, especially coming off of that last match, I don't think he needs to change characters, and I think he agrees here, sticking with that Bob. I think there's just some things that are getting him killed. Yeah. One of those things being the hop kicks that Joplix is throwing out. Yeah. He's got the right timing on the hop kicks; they just seem to be hitting. <laughs> and I, th I think he's picked up on it. Hits him out of the air, out of that hop kick, gets the float mini combo. Another counter. Yeah. That's the third one this set. Nice Ooh. wall carry. Wow, okay. And that's the we'll setup him again. He used that yesterday to win a match, I remember. Oh, just not pressing any buttons, just sussing him out and the down three. And it's the second hit. See, now Joplix has seen that down three as a round ender. He has to remember. It's down three, but it has a second hit. Oh, will my opponent commit to it the next time? Goes to the whip punch, slides the Damn, Nice block. He's, he's got a good ratio on those low blocks. I think the Sam brother is using them at a range where it might be predictable to jump. Oh, oh, oh my and god. And that instant running to jump. He didn't need to. He, he, he wanted to. I mean, it was probably the best option because of maybe the, uh, the axe is screwing him over. So I think that's why he just wanted to go for a high damage while running two to end the round. Nice punch on the down falls one two. Good pressure here from Jumbo. Nice. Ah, the old classic. Yeah, that's the new stuff with Oya. It's such a good move. Plus seven on normal here. Gives a crouch state. All your opponents can hit launcher. Delay it. Really, really annoying to deal Oh, here comes the hell sweeps. Oh, nice float. You won't be able to kill him. Man. We'll go for the rage drive. 50-50. Oh, oh, nice. That was big risk. Especially to let the whole string rip. See? I think Jopalix picked up on it. Sam Brother likes to close out rounds with lows mm. that have successive hits. Yeah. As I mentioned earlier, we call it insurance. <laughs> so this time, I think Jopalix said, you know what, he might do down 3-4 again, but he did that straight. Still it worked out for him. And I got the uh, down 2-2 two two with the blue spot. Blue spot, the blue hand. Goes to that down 4-1. Went for the high crush. Yeah, these walls are really taking away a lot of his home ball. Oh, wow, it hits again. Jopelik up 3-0 right wow. now over the Sam brother. Sam brother one game away from being knocked out. So how do you feel about what's been going on here in this set? We saw, first of all, that, you know, the Sam brother had some sort of, you know, game plan going in. But right now, Jopelik's picked up on almost everything. And I think everything's working out in his favor rather than for the Sam brother. What do you think he can change here? Uh, definitely, I feel like uh, maybe a bit more patient. Uh, Joplix's uh, offense is pretty good, but I think it's his defense right now that is getting the Sam Brother killed. Um, oh, there we go. Uh, goes for the Oki Ender. That back to the 3 has so many uses. The Sam Brother just can't open him up right now. He's using these back ones as keep out, and it's scaring Sam Brother from coming in to mm. do his 50 50. Oh, there and there we go. Oh, that should be the round. Yep. Oh, okay. I think right now he's playing too scared. Round he two. might want to play a bit Fight. more, you know, fearless and just try and yeah. try stuff out. Go because for it. everything he's going for right now is being dealt with really well by the Sam Brother. I'm yep. oh, sorry, by, by Joe. He does have the round lead in this match. Pushing him to the wall. Okay, here we go. Oh, it's killed Two rounds to zero right now. Let's see if we can bring it back. This could be the start of the momentum we need. Nice block, no punish. Goes to that forward, forward to one of Bob's best mids. Gets the oh, counter hit launch. Last time he went to fall on block like that, he got hop kicked. But this time, Joplix with a delayed answer was a bit late on that response. He gets counter hit for it. Down to about 50% life. Yeah. Gets the launch that oh, with the down to a 3 hit combo. Oh, a couple hits away from taking this game, oh, and there he it is. Pressing buttons, boy. Woo. Gets on the board. 3 1. Why are you pressing, though? The Sam brother gets a uh, game. I don't know what's in that water, but it's helping him out. And that was a very quick shift in momentum mm. because what it looked what looked like was a sweep 
Fojopolix, the Sam brother, just brings it back. I think he got so many situations in his favor, and that coupled with the changes that he made in his neutral just helped him win that match. Yeah, it was excellent work here. Let's see if he can keep it up, because obviously Jopolix now has the opportunity to adapt, to change his game plan up. I'm sure uh, to a certain extent he was maybe, oh my god, all right. I feel like, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> Even the crowd is befuddled. We got that Leroy pick. The player counter pick. Time see, the thing is, even if I see a Leroy, I don't now. know how good they are at Leroy Let because the, the character has so many Round new tools one. and new things. You don't know what the, what the good stuff is. Yeah. Yet, yeah. I think the, the Sam brother went against uh, Adam and Leroy earlier yeah. today and he lost. But the thing is, uh, this is another, another Leroy. Yeah. Maybe that's why Jopelix has picked this character. Oh, gets the back he one. Unfamiliarity with him. Oh, overhead there. Nice touch. Oh, look so at much that. damage from that string goes for the four, 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 three. Up four, three plus four, one plus two. Oh, he's going in. Fifth damage time. Oh, I think this is right. Very nice there by Jumbo. All he needs is one more game. Two more rounds in theory. That's enough. He goes him out of here. Gets a mini conversion here. And it ends with that back three for the Oki. Sam Brother fighting for his tournament life. Gets another float there. Good job. Half health gone. See if we can... Oh, there's the parries, but what didn't retaliate in time? Oh, wow. He just keeps catching him out of the air. I feel like the crouch stash one is the saving grace in this match from Sam Brother. He hits so many of them. So many of them have led to combos that led to wall pressure. All right, all right. One round of peace. Round three. Do you think if Jopelex loses uh, this game, he'll switch? Yes, I think he'll go back to the board here. I think he's just testing the waters with the Leroy. If it wins him the set, it wins. Yep. If it doesn't, you collect some information on the player and how they react to the situation. That's about it. Oh, the health sweep. Oh, that should be I that like round. that play. Fearless tech in. Yeah. Going for them lows. Realizes his opponent does not have a quick hop kick. He does have that low crushing orbital, but doesn't commit to it. Two rounds to one right now in the Sam Brothers' favor. He goes with the running three plus four. The issue with using a dual character, yes, your opponent may have a disadvantage as they don't know it, but it also means you don't know it. So you don't know every situation. Obviously, he's not going to know all the information on the matchup uh, with Leroy that he does with Claudio. Oh, here we go. Yeah. I think there was a kill combo there. Oh, Regardless, that was the down three. three. Right. See, this time he went for the down three alone. He realized that his opponent stayed down after blocking a low, and he didn't want to commit to the high this time. Really well done there by Sam Brother. Gets himself another game. Now it's down up to 3 2. Still in Jopelix's favor. I do believe we'll be seeing the Claudio. Let's see if that is the case here. So Sam Brother is only halfway through. He's, he's like on the edge right now of, of getting knocked out of the tournament, but he's halfway to being able to move forward into top eight. So let's see if we can do it. Top eight of this tournament is a big achievement. So one of these guys is going to make it there, but I don't know who it's going to be. He's having to he's having to think there. I don't know if he's thinking about character or gameplay, like strategy on a singular character right now. But I guess we'll find out. Man, like. I like their, their sleeves, they got this like digital print thing going, it's pretty nice. I like all the countries, they all have different designs, Yeah. they're all like, they, it, it kind of represents like what they're about. I like uh, Saudi Arabia's there, man he got like a little fur bit inside, Oh damn. <laughs> That's sick. Kind of funny though, they come from like a hot as hell country, they're like, oh, yeah, let's put some uh, you know fluffy bits inside here. Back to the Claudio, we got Ta Twilight Conflict 2, so we're going to have a balcony break, see what kind of weird combos these guys come up with. Both of these characters are pretty good with balcony break. Mm -hmm. If Claudio gets no, like back down before the three one at a distance, mm -hmm. gets that now. running two follow up to balcony break, big damage begin. combos coming his way. Going into this fifth match, sorry, sixth match. Yep. And uh Jopelix going with that default outfit with the classic. Ooh. Gets the blue star and oh, commits straight yeah. away. Oh, this might be it. He's just coming in hard right now. Wow, okay. That was, a quick, that was a twelve second round. Including right the balcony the break. If he can keep this momentum, yeah, he's already the used the balcony break. Yeah, he's already used it. If, if, the, if he can keep this momentum, the Sam Brothers in a lot of trouble right now. This time punishes that down back three on the block. Goes for the hop kick. Okay, I'm trying to turn the pressure around. Twelve seconds have passed. Half health gone. Oh, good punish. See, versus Bob in neutral, 
You can see Joe Felix moving around to the right side, yeah. in up close, but further out he's moving to the left. The left avoids stuff like forward forward two, and I think that's what he's most scared of at that range. All right. But right now, he doesn't need round to be scared of three. anything, because he's one round away Fight. from taking this over. Sam, Sam brother, one brother. round away from going home. This could be bad for him. Oh, and that's does a full extension. Dash. And great Oki goes for the mid option this time from the starboard. Commits to the mid. No, not really. My Sam brother was not ready for it. Oh, can the Sam brother make it back? He's got three rounds to go until he can get the next game, but one round away from Ooh. A big Ooh. hop kick! Can he close it out? Might get him to the wall here. Goes oh, for the side step. Oh, oh, the that's it. Back. Oh. Oh, Very well, well played, done. Well played. And two fours. Not bad. Not bad at all. Joe Felix takes it over the Sam brother. Saudi Arabia eliminated from the tournament. Very good showing for yeah. them. Finland moving on into our top eight with this first match in our top 16. Very well done by Jovlix. Mm -hmm. What can I say? That, that was that was excellent. Um, so Saudi Arabia uh, won last year, but this year they're bowing out in top 16. Mm -hmm. uh, very well done, though. I think the, the thing that Jopelix did the best was he nullified a lot of the strongest options that the Sam brother had in mm -hmm. terms of how he plays. And that was the wall mix-up. He's won so many games with other players because of that. And right now, the way the way Jopelix tackled it and he handled it was much better than all the other players. Right. And I think he prepared for it. So very well done by Jopelix. As you can see on screen, we're going to have another match and it's going to be Japan versus New Zealand. Take versus Wowza, and that will be after this quick break. Stick around for more Tekken 7. Championships. Now we've got a spicy, I always say spicy, but this is like extra. You know those three chilies on the menu? That's what you got right now. Three Thai chili match right now. So we've got Japan versus New Zealand. So we've got Take, legendary Yamasa Take representing Japan for us today. And we've got Kangas Wowza representing New Zealand. So, let's see what these guys can do. So, Wowza known as a, a very strong Elisa player, and uh, Take is a multi-character master. Nearly forgot, I'm joined with my friend. Alchemist. What is your name, sir? <laughs> In case they don't know. <laughs> nah, um, yeah, so this one, how do you feel this is going to go? So, both players have a very defensive playstyle. Mm -hmm. They like to layman out, so to speak. <laughs> Wowza are especially known for that because there's very few players in that region of the world mm. that play that kind of style. Yep. Take has always been known to have a very, very unique style in Japan as well. Yep. Many players have a more aggressive style over there, but Take has been like, you know, the black sheep, so yep. to speak. And I think this matchup, because there's two very defensive players, someone's going to have to take control with that, you know, in neutral. Mm. So someone's going to have to be the aggressor. Yeah. And I want to know who that is. Someone's going to have to take control and I want to I want to see what they do. Mm. And I'm expecting a Steve pick here from Take in saying that. Okay. Okay. Yeah, against Elisa. Yeah. Yes, Wells is obviously going to go with Elisa. I don't think he'll change characters. He's a character loyalist. Mm. He does have some pocket characters, but we won't mention that. <laughs> but one thing I want to say about Take is a lot of people underrate him because a lot of times his performance doesn't really re reflect what he's able to do. Um, he did make top 8 at EVO uh, US this year, which people didn't expect. Um, but he hasn't been, throughout the year though overall, he hasn't done anything that uh, pop out to people in that Well, actually he won a, a TWT event. I just don't remember which one it was. That's a problem. Yeah. <laughs> yeah like, that's what I'm saying, right? It, it, like, there's nothing that pops straight out at you. Oh, Kazumi. All right, my friend Alchemist here is about to have a good time. Um, <laughs> but the thing is, he's been playing for a long time at the highest level. Uh, so he's um, one of the most seasoned players you'll see out there. So let's see how that experience comes through today. I think the reason why he went with Kazumi is because Kazumi is exceptional in long sets. Oh, yeah. Even though she's really good in short sets, in long set, it's all about the small post, the minimal risk, condition your opponent with the second hit of string and stuff like that. That's why I think he went with this pick. Obviously, uh, Take, uh, not Take, sorry, Wowza does have some Kazumi experience. Take, one of the most successful Kazumi players in the world. So, you know, he's no slouch. We got that Geese Howard estate for this first game. This is Pope City. Is there going to be a launch this round? I don't think so. Like I said, both players play very late play stop. Nice sidestep to the back, gets that 1 1 2, goes to the down to the ground and hit. Out. You don't want to get hit by this rage drive. That's death, essentially, if you get hit by it at this distance. 
18 seconds left on the clock. Take still in rage. Run, Will he ran up and did nothing. He's trying to condition him with that down three. Wants to get him to duck. Oh, oh, to oh, 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 he pressed the button. Let's go. Oh, and crushes with the low. That would be nice. Beautifully played by Take. Did not Fight. need the rage drive to take that round. Ooh, very well done by him. Playing it slow, playing it controlled. Takes that first round. Trying that to get was, it in the second definitely round. not one sided at all. That, was, that could have gone anyway. That, that barely was timed out as well. So you can see, as we mentioned, these guys both really love to, as you said, play lane. They'll turtle it up. But it's just Pope City. And right now, because Wowza has his back to the wall, he's gonna have to deal with the pressure with the down forward one. Will he commit to the second hit? No, he won't. Does a low to close it out. Three. Attempted a counter hit launch there, but it's not down. Gets that down back three for the pressure, trying to start his offense. So I feel like this stage is working really well in Takei's favor. But what I should should mention is there hasn't been a single wall break yet in a stage with three wall breaks. This is the first combo. Yeah. <laughs> They're still playing in the first area of this level. Goes for that one plus two, and they gets the O2 sidestep four by Wowza. Follow the plus two is up. Pushing him into the corner. Wowza in rage. What's he gonna make? What's he gonna do to make use of it? He goes for the low and is punished for it with the while standing four four. Three rounds straight for Take. Okay. We're gonna go to an infinite stage. Yeah, I'm, I'm probably, feeling that. I'm, I'm feeling that too. So, from what I saw there. Um, Take was just keeping him in check, not letting him move too much, not letting him step too much. Let him move back and forward a bit, you can't control that too much, like, you can only do so much, but definitely really stopped the side movement. But on the other hand, uh, Wowza actually didn't do too much uh, tracking moves, in my opinion. He did a couple and they usually hit. So what, what, do, what kind of moves do you think uh, Wowza needs to do to kind of keep, keep Take in check? And what do you think, uh, do you think Take's down forward ones uh, are doing well against Wowza right now? Well, the, the way Take is using down forward one, you can tell he doesn't want to commit to the second hit. He's happy getting that first hit blocked or yeah. a hit, and then he continues from there with the mind game. But from that, I think what Wowza needs to be doing, it's not necessarily trying to stop the movement of Take. It's when he reads a move, he wants to realign and do something about it with a poke that he's using neutral. You don't necessarily want to commit to a homie move. You do have that standing forward, which is a counter launcher. But Take is not stepping at the button. He's waiting for a whiff and then committing to a punish. And he has such good read on these lows. He won the last match because he blocked down court three, sorry, the down back three, even when Wowza had rage and he blocked that Side step forward, start it off. Got a punch there. You see he fuzzy ducked it after the forward four. Knows that the second is a high. Wowza has to keep that information. Does he fuzzy duck into a button? If he does, I might have a counter opportunity is what he might think. Oh, Gets that forward four, side combo. step right into the combo. This won't be dead, oh. drops it. That was the second combo of this set so far. Okay. See the side step into the duck. Stepping to Alyssa's weak side, which is the right Fight. at range zero, waiting for something and then committing to that whip punch. Take playing yeah. very well right now. Oh, punch but oh, another one. There's the running twos. Wowza being pushed to the wall once again. This is not where he wants to be. Goes for that back three oh, to get himself away from the wall. But back at all, nice step there. Avoided the down back. Oh, a little bit of health left. What's he gonna do? Goes for the mid option there, Take. Takes him down. No. Oh, okay. Still alive, still alive. Oh, chainsaws come out, but the down forward one just stops out that round. Round three. Oh, two rounds ahead and one game ahead. It's five rounds straight for Taki. Can he make it six? Oh, gets it. Drops the combo. Might have wanted to go for that fly three plus four to get an optimized oh, wow. war carry. Can't. See, Wiles is finally trying to play aggressively. He's trying to make his way in. Doesn't want to put himself back. Doesn't want to put his back to the wall. So I think he's trying to stay in the middle of the stage by poking. Nice. Okay. Yeah. that side step four. Yeah, he's using four three just to check. Duck and then counter hit four. Very nice. Okay. There's that back to six rounds straight for Take. Right. Also, I just noticed we didn't go to an infinite stage. Yeah, we didn't. I don't know if he went random or he chose that one. Maybe he just likes it. Okay, so I want to explain something about Kazumi's war game in Season 3. Mm -hmm. Because back two no longer um, war splats, mm -hmm. your main war splat in neutral is down forward one two. Obviously, it's been unsafe. You also have while running two, but it's difficult to do at the wall. 
We see Take, he doesn't really care. He's not trying to get a wall that. What he's trying to do is just poke him down, put away at his life, and trying to get a launch into a wall carry, and that's his wall game there. Just pressuring from there. And gets that down hit, standing four. Oh, there's a new combo. Doesn't get that 60% uh, and just jump for the oh, No flip there. Sides that force, yeah, Sides that force seems to be one of WoW's favorite low points. Oh, okay, here we go. Low turn. Good momentum right now for WoW. Let's see if it keeps going. Goes to the mid option. Both players in rage. Breaks the, breaks right. the throw, but also switches sides. Now in WoW's favor. Oh, stages. very good. Nice. That's the first round on the board. So six rounds to one right wow. now. 3 2 with Alyssa was recently fight. made minus 12 on the block. Parker has to be ready with that 1 plus 2 punish. Patience. Playing in the center of the stage, goes for that standing four. Target's duck timing is excellent. He's avoiding little things here and there, but it's really adding up. Wow, oh, the big hard commit to the down four two. Oh, drops the combo. Oh, this cost him the round, hopefully not. Nice step. Couldn't get the launch there. And you see Wows is also moving to Kazumi's weak side. Oh, oh again. Right. Oh, Same move nice. to close it out. Yeah, very well done by Wows. Wow. Three. Okay, is this a comeback? Fight. Don't call it a comeback. I mean, he was never out of it to begin with. It's a first of all, my friend. This is a comeback from a 2-0. <laughs> Bit late on that punish on the downfall 1-2. Man, Taka hasn't committed to anything. He's just playing really patient. Goes for that forward forward for that move. Very hard to punish at that range. Oh, that is safe. Nice one. Kick. Another one. Waiting for that backdashing back into the wall. He's not scared at all. Goes for the wild running punch. Too. Nice. Oh, excellent low parry. And this is a lot of damage because he does have rage. Carries to the wall, finishes with the string. Oh, what's he gonna do? He's got rage. Did he finish it up. Oh, chip damage. Just enough to take it. Oh, but still, that was that was a very close round. Wells still has a decent amount of momentum here. Taka just just made it through that last round. So let's see if Wells can keep it going and take the first game for himself. Gets that down back too. Wow's has shown that he likes to walk around that move to the right side. Down four, keeping him in check. Ooh, Once again, we're at the middle of the stage. They don't want to get to the wall. Uh, the How many of these have we seen hit? They've all hit. He's just seen the timing for it and perfected it. Wow's a, oh, he's getting oh, caught oh. in the backdash or in the fuzzy guard. Take oh, so on point with that forward forward four. Right. Goes to that down back three. <laughs> Nice. See, he didn't fuzzy duck this time. He stepped left after the forward four. Now he knows that Wowser does not want to commit to it. Maybe Wowser can save that for future rounds, or he can cash in here. But it is risky because he's behind on life and tied at two rounds apiece. Wowser now in rage, goes for that back three once again, expecting Take to move. Oh, nice break. Still in rage. How will he make use of Close it? Way. Nice lows. Does have access to that rage drive. Might be just enough to bring him back into this game. Also has that I-13 Rage Art as a punish tool. Oh, there we go. It's getting intense. Okay, well, playing it very seconds. patiently. Mini hop kick. Oh, down, the down three. three. Into the running two. Oh, the back two with punish. This is a hard one, man. He's really hard. Very well done there by Take. Bringing it back after being two round, after being down two rounds. That's the thing at this level, and he's he's just he's such a seasoned player. The As composure that he has, even when he's down on life, hmm. like he just has an idea of what he wants to do, yep. and his execution in applying what he wants to do is near perfect. Round one. So, uh, the stage, the same stage. Why do you think that is? I'm not sure. Generally, Wow's like really favors the infinite yeah. stage. Maybe something's changed. We'll have to see if this can work for him. All right, back to the poke fest. Just running in each other's face, poking, running back out, and seeing who wins first. Ooh. Oh, with the grab, gets punished with the one-two-one. One. Flies away from the wall with that wall jump, threatening that wall bounce. Goes for the high option, expecting Take to wait for the mid. Ooh, that, nice was that was a really good. Game. Take with this excellent game of neutral game, controlling it so well, almost everything going his way, playing at the perfect distance to punish Wowza for every mistake he makes in neutral. Oh, there we go. Finally hits him with a home and catches him moving. Take in rage once again. They oh, missed it. Out of range for the punish. And this might be it. Very nice. 
I think uh, Wowz should take Round a few pages three. out of Take's book right now and see Fight. if he can try to match the uh, the poking timing and poking style that uh, Take's using. It's a risk, of course, but it could work out for him. Generally, it's much harder because Kazumi has her 1-1. One, one, yeah. And obviously can confirm into that too. The knockdown is very, very strong. Alyssa doesn't have anything like that where it's generally a safe hit confirmed. Wowza once again with Rage. Whittling away at Take's life with these small pokes. Trying to get him to make a mistake. Trying to get him to whiff. But Take not having any of that. The 1-2-2 whiff two, two punish at Take now on set point. Fight. Can he go. take it 4-0 over Wowza? Is Wowza going for it? Oh, he's coming! He's coming out swinging now. He's like this is everything. It. Oh, this should be it. Oh, okay. Seven golden letters. Let's go. One more round, and he can Final take one round. of the games and have a new three-round fight. Is that enough momentum to get yeah. him this last? You better to get him this so. round and put him on the board. All right. A lot more aggressive than before. I'm on the edge of my seat now. Well, see, he blocked it that time. Very nice. Nice That's step. Down back four. Oh, oh, okay. And that it again. Forward. Swap sides, wants to put him at the wall. Goes for that while standing three again. Take this time not wanting to deal with the mix up. Gets Got the second hit. hit. Alright, he's gonna come to his face. Both face sussing each other out. Just don't want to commit to anything. Again, blocks it. Forward, forward. That was very risky. Could have gotten counter hit. Do you think he's gonna cash in on that habit now? Like, of the forward, forward, forward being blocked? Uh, I don't know. I don't think so. What is this close? You don't want to do that. Mm. You want to generally have at least one round up on your opponent to play with. Well, that's Ten seconds left on the clock. We're coming down to the wire. Down forward, forward. Puts Tarkay in rage. Can Wowza take this? Commit Yo, very nice. All right, with three seconds to go, his tournament life on the line. He brings it back. Raising the dead right now. Jeez, wow. I need some water, give me a second. It's like, <laughs> it's like when he's on the brink of death, he brought it back. He was almost out of the tournament and then a, a sense of urgency kicked in. This happens with him a lot as well. This is not the first time we've seen this Round kind of stuff. One. Give me a heart attack, dude. Alright, let's go. Now, Finally wow. gets a game, puts himself on the board. 1-3, still in Take's favor. We're going to that fifth game. Take just needs one more game to take this set. It is single elimination, we've got to keep that in mind. Goes for that down fourth one too. Wells has got to be very careful where he throws those um, just automatic while standing forwards. It's costing him a lot right now. Take is definitely ready for some sidestepping and punishing. Oh, Gets to the back. Step. All right, you take this one red drive. Hey, this should go. be it. Lest he drop the combo. And he gets it. Nice. Okay. Excellent job there. On the board for the fourth, fifth game now. Fight. Chainsaws are out. Good punish. So I think we haven't seen enough chainsaws from Wowza. Generally, he really likes to use them. I think he's afraid to use them because of Take because of the way Take is moving around. Kazumi, right. one of those characters with a great back that she can get out in certain situations. Like, so, wow. Nice. Jab pressure. Trade. Oh my oh, days. Dead. The whiff, no punish by Take. Still has rage. Nice. Commits for the last hit. Oh. Take goes with the low as a Four. punish. Round three. Excellent, excellent work here. Fight. One round apiece right now. Again, Wowza is going to be perpetually on tournament life, or very close to it, until the, the set is over. Yep. Both oh, using home Finally very gets nice. it ducky. Look at this damage. Oh, the a good situation. The okay, base. pick up. Excellent block there by Take. Take can still make a comeback. He does have rage. Neutral hop. Might be a misinput. Oh, Wowza he's waiting for it. He's got the life oh, lead. He's in, he's, in, oh, he's in kill okay. rage. One rage drive will kill. Can Take hit this rage drive? Wowza, no one can press Very any hesitate. button. Does no not want to have it. Here we go. Oh, very nice rage drive. Crushes the low jab. Here we go. The way Take Round played four. that was exceptional. He did oh. not even think about using the rage drive. He just kept making him think, wait for the rage drive, wait for the rage drive, and just kept hitting him and hitting him. Whittling down away at his life. Regardless, Wowza takes the round, still up two rounds to one in this sixth there. game. Floats him with the back two. Should get close to the wall, but not quite there. Tiger comes out. Again, he knows the strat. When Kazumi comes running at you, you jab her and then block. You get free damage. What if she slides? Then you screw. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Again, we're back on uh, set point right now. Potentially, oh, Take uh, Take could take our Wowza. 
Let's see if uh, Wowza's sense of urgency can come out right now and uh, give him the tournament. Last time when this happened, he started throwing out things and it just hit. Yeah. Can that happen again? It's oh, here we go. Alright, they're coming. Let's go. Let's go. You know, Taki, Taka, is, he likes to duck, man. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't seen up many up upward there. fours this set. He's one of those fuzzy duckers. Again, sidestep left into jab. Oh, the trade. Okay, what are we gonna see from Wowza? Let's go. Oh, catch him stepping or pressing a button. One rage drive will kill. Oh, here we go. So close. Close for the oh. down back three. Good step for the no And the down forwards one. Oh Take takes it over Wowza. Tour one. Japan eliminating New Zealand in this top 16. Atake moves on into that top eight. What an excellent set that was. Both played very, very well. Very compact play styles from both players. Wowza has to be happy with the performance, regardless of the result. That was that was that. That was so hype. Those the, those final final round clutch uh, clutch strats were uh, godlike. But okay, so we're gonna have to take a breather now. We'll uh, go to a break, and uh, we'll see you guys soon. Up next, we've got um, Friesen versus from Poland. Uh, yeah, from Poland and Nindo from Tunisia. See you guys soon. They have Tekken 7 World Championships. I'm joined again by Brown Man Up. on the mic. I'm Alchemist. Pleasure having you guys back. We've got another top 16 match for you guys. Another first of four, aka best of seven. Mm -hmm. We're going to have Poland versus Tunisia. We're going to have Prison versus Nindo. Woo! Prison has shown that he's a Steve player. Mm -hmm. I think we've only seen him play Steve. I think that's the only character he plays, mm -hmm. at least in tournament. And on the other hand, we have Tunisia, the rep known for playing Master Raven. I think he so he played Master Raven last year. Yep. But I don't think he's played Raven this year. He had a match on stream, but I think he played a different character. Okay. I don't remember which character. Hmm. We'll have to find out. Maybe Re he'll pull it out again. Regardless, this is a first to four. Mm -hmm. If you do have more than one character. You know, you might bring it out might in this kind of set. Out, yeah. So we're coming off of uh, New Zealand losing to Japan. Take yep. beating Wowza. That was a good match. That very was a really intense. good match. Very, very, very exciting. Wowza almost made the comeback. Mm -hmm. Had that last stand, but it still went down to the mm -hmm. wire. And Take just too strong in the end. All right, here we go. So these boys should be starting. So we've got Poland and Tunisia. Is it just me or does Paul, the uh, Frizzin look a little bit like Joey Fury? Uh, it could just be me, I don't know. Every time I see him, I'm like, is that Joey Fury though? <laughs> Alright, let's go. Damn, their, their little emblem is really cool. They got the eagle, the eagle's got a crown, the was, eagle's royalty. I was actually talking to Ninda, but I didn't know that was him. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was talking Doesn't to it the, say it somewhere in his shirt? I, was, I wasn't paying attention. Like, to the shirt. I was paying attention to what he was oh, saying. Oh, damn, he's got orange on his shoulder. You remember that brand? No. So we used to have orange in Australia, but then it got bought out by three. Do you remember three, the, the telco? No. So basically orange is an old school in Australia anyway, uh, telephone company, but I think it still exists in Europe. So to see that, it just, just took me back, man. I mean, I'm going to have to take your word for it. Man, what are you talking about? We came <laughs> from the same country. We're the same age. All right. So, so it is Steve versus Raven. Yeah, this should be interesting. We've got the Mishima building. All right, let's go. Round one. First to four. Fight. This is gonna be interesting. Something. Oh. Some oh. <laughs> <laughs> Starts off with the hard stuff. The Shiro combo goes to the backsway one ender. Asserting dominance at the wall. Gets that power crush. Goes to that down back four. Nice, nice left wing into the three forward one one. Oh, power crush. Not dead yet. Oh, okay. What just happened? Gets I don't to know, the man. Bank. Had that grab ready, like he knew that was gonna happen. Jeez. One thing I wanted to point out is uh, Master Raven cannot actually launch Steve's Shoryuken. Oh, okay. you have to do a frame perfect for for three, or you could do a rage drive. But without those, like your down for two will not launch. So that's something Prison might want to throw out a bit just to test Nindo. Nindo might habitually use the down for two. And in the uh, prison can take advantage of that. Gets the stomp Stomps into on. the wall. Oh, okay. rocket punch. And the back rock This should be a funny thing. Evening it out. Oh, this is, this is good already. I'm already hyped. Let's Round go. Alright, come on. Oh, Jesus. Launches him straight away. 
Does oh not care. my days, look at this damage. And the Oki with that back three into the back of a mix up. Prison spring kicks out of there but to no avail. Oh, Still at nice. the wall. One, two, one, two on the back. Giving her that massage. You gotta pay double for that. Oh, okay. This ain't Thailand, my friend. <laughs> and there's that rage drive. <laughs> Taking it to the wall. Might be it. Look at that damage, but he can close it out. There we go. Down two dozen. Man, this is really fast paced. I'm loving this one. So start comparison from our last set as well. That was super slow paced, super methodical. But this oh, one, and the ooh. counter flicker too. In neutral, no, there was no setup for it. He just had a read on the timing. One thing to note also is that Steve is one of the characters that can consistently punish Master Raven's quarter set from forward four. But that doesn't matter right now because Prison is about to take it and a down two again to take it, to take the round. Prison takes the first one. Damn, that was that was quick. That was quick. So, sorry, as I was saying, quarter circle forward four, one of the best keep out moves that Master Raven has. Mm -hmm. Really, really good in matchups where it can't be punished consistently. Steve's Sonic Fang will punish every time. And if he has Rage, he's got that Rage Drive on deck. So, you know, Ninda has to be scared to use it in neutral, replacing it with something else. And I think that's making him you know, hesitate a bit at that range. Prison with the wall pressure, both players with the wall to their nice side. Start. Catch them in the gut. Oh, he was going for that wall spot there, but got caught real hard. Master Raven's downfall one's actually really strong against Weave in either direction. The reads on this man right now, what is happening? He's just catching everything. Mindo's just really having a hard time properly opening him up. Oh, he went for the hard read, expected second hit, went for that duck to launch on the high. Goes oh. for the mid option. Did we get it? Oh, Drops it this time. That's 50%. So far, that's pretty good odds. Oh, my oh nice bad. combo. He's still going for this Oki and I feel like he should do the Masaji combo. It does have the best Oki. They were both went for eight drives, just one came out a bit earlier. I mean, it would have been plus frames if it was blocked anyway. Must Raven, Raid Drive plus six on the block. Goes for Power Crush from back to not enough frames. Gets it this time. He's the while standing one. We'll get the wall combo in. Sonic Bang. Bang. Oh. Stomps on him. Nice punish Ooh. there. All right. While standing one being minus 14. Round you know, Steve four. can rage drive punish that if he has rage. Oh, nice nice beat down. Oh, no pull off. Something interesting is Master Raven actually still has a male hurt box. Okay. Much larger than other female characters. So some things work on her that wouldn't work on other female characters. Or reach where they should. Low, low's coming out. Oh, wall bounce. That's season three right there. There's going to be a lot of damage. Oh, Both go for the jump. setups! Oh, but the rolls didn't work right. Cow Crush, we should take this round. There you go. Evening up the rounds with Prison. Still one game ahead. Can you close this one out? Or is it's even, even, it's even harder for Master Raven to get out of those tech traps unless you're ready with a parry because she has to stay in back turn. She can't hold back to get out of back turn. That sidestep into uh, the cartwheel thing. That was crazy. Nice while standing two, but gets count here with the back one. Can Ninja take this? Oh, is that even? No, that's not a no, punish. Okay. I was like, whoa, I didn't know that. Minus 13 yeah. on block. Ninja takes the second game. Good stuff. Damn. Now, did you did you notice that he did the backswing blow after blocking the rage drive and it avoided the one? That's so he, he knows this see, matchup. He knows. He knows. He's got that uh, the galaxy Round brain one. tech on the. <laughs> Ooh. Nice low parry there. Alright, take this to the wall, let's go. We can get the follow-up, but still back to the wall, dangerous place for Nindo. Double double albatross into the punch. See the reason why Nindo's using down back two a lot is because Steve can't punch back. And it's an elbow, obviously. Oh, I 13 no. elbow, decent tracking at close range. Block the first one, got got hit by the second one. Round the pain. Two. Fight. Goes for that down forward three, was expecting a high, wanted that counter hit high crush. Nice sweep. Didn't get counter hit by the last one. Oh, that was a good walk, but just the timing was just off for that back two. If he kept walking, I think he would have avoided that. He was walking, yeah. then buttoned on the whip. Gets that albatross two. Tries back two again. Again. Not sure what reading he had. Oh, He's just going for these big reads. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about this. 
Is he that scared of a move? What, what's he looking for? Know, is, is this some mech level my Oh, duck. This is, a, this is a different prison than we yeah, saw in the previous uh, game. I don't know what's going on, but... He gets the double back turn 3 plus 4. Recognizes that he got a high wall to that oh, very well done there by Trying to hit back fine. Just okay. Into the plus frame mode. Oh, and the launching elbow. This should be the round. He goes for the Lancaster oh. combo. Too many hits. Yep. Still gets the round. Prison round four. back in form. Up two rounds to one over Nindo. He's using that two point neutral. Prison has to be ready to duck the second hit. Oh, teleport kick. Nice pick up. Just, it was just in there. I think it was a little further. We wouldn't have got that one. That's the second time he's dropped a combo. What's going on here? Wow, that whiff is out of range for a punish. I did not expect that. I didn't, I didn't even see the tempo. No, it's not going to be dead. It's very close. Tricky. Alright, two rounds apiece. One game Final each. Round. If you see a two jab with Raven, there is no mix up. It's a high, high, high or high low. But duck. what you do in that situation is if you're fuzzy or if you duck, your opponent can mind game you with different moves like a two into something else or a two into weight. And then it becomes a mind game. But Nindo just cashing into that 2 3. Both players almost in range. Both two rounds apiece. Doesn't commit to the second hit. Hits oh, and that's the game. Damn, alright. 2 you to win. 1 right now. Maybe Prison needs to take a little break. Maybe change the stage. Just uh, chill out a little bit and uh, see what's happening uh, within himself. But yeah, that was a. In some of those runs, I, I couldn't recognize that player. I don't know who that was. Uh, but. Things happen sometimes. Let's see if we can uh, bring this one back. He must, just, must have just had a really hard read to do those back twos. And that up forward two, I think he expected a low just to close that around, like that full crouch low Master Raven likes, Master Raven players like to do. Mm -hmm. At any rate, Nindo, you know, not having any of that. He took that round very convincingly and took the game up two to one now over Prison. We've got a cha stage change. We're in that G Corp helipad daytime. Still not the best. Good daytime. <laughs> Alright, let's see. We're gonna get some interesting wall combos here, I'm sure, because we've got two breaks. Something, uh, I've, something I've noticed is Prison has really Round interesting one. combos with Steve. Especially at the wall, he's deciding to go for the while standing oh. once almost every time. I wonder what reasoning he has for that. If it's for Oki, it must be a specific form of Oki, like a situation he wants to set up. And I wanna know what that situation is. Oh, very, very interesting. Tries to duck. Okay. <laughs> These uh, odd angle walls really get to You know, when you, you when you get the side wall, you gotta be really creative. Go to that back swing boat into the second hit. Oh my god. Kenny Oh, okay, so Raven does a lot of damage with combos. I think we know by oh, now. Kenny bring it back, wow. breaks the wall. Oh, the jab it. whiffs. The back swing! Oh. oh, the low kick. Dang. <laughs> that was, oh man, that's gonna be heartbreaking right there. And back turn low from, uh, sorry, the low from back is actually plus three on hit as opposed to generic low, which is minus two. They're launching for the back one attempt there. There's a lot of damage for that punish. Oh, back turn. Oh, nice adjustment. Let's go. That was really well done. Goes for the Albatross down two, just down two, just so he gets an extra time to uh, attack on the wake up. Oh, she teleports out of the way. Nice punish there on the skyscraper and takes the round. Wow, okay. Nindo got a lot of momentum right now. Oh, okay. Oh, oh he just gave him free damage. damage. I don't think he knew he was in back turn. Yeah. That's one thing that can happen as Raven. You know, someone's walking around and you get stuck in back then, you're trying to block, and then, you know, all of a sudden you eat 100 damage. <laughs> you know, Steve's back turn uh, damage is really good. And, uh, most of it's guaranteed, right? You get the punch string and then you get the grab. Oh, sure, you can. Yeah, there you go. That's yeah. crazy. But Nindo. Making a statement right now. Three games to one. Yep. Wow. Prison gets the first one. Three straight to Nindo after that. Man, that monster energy is doing some work for him. He's just every time he takes a sip, bam, another game. Will we see a repeat of the first set? The first one was four one. Mm. Will this be another four one? We'll have to see. So once again, ladies and gentlemen, this is top sixteen. Mm -hmm. It's single elimination. Prison is uh one game away from going home. And in these sets, these first of fours, you know, some players, you know, they they use all they all that they got in that first in those first two games. Yeah. Those players are really good in first twos. Yeah. But when they get to the third game, the fourth game, the fifth game, they're all out of steam. They yeah. got nothing left in the engine. Because that's all oh, lucky, Chloe. Okay, we got a new engine. Let's see how much steam's <laughs> in here. But yeah, those um, 
you can't blame them though, because uh, it's like that's the format you're training for all the time. TWT and all that. First so, of two, that's the, that's the stuff. So he's putting his tournament life on this Chloe pick. Yep. Let's see if he can bamboozle it. Oh, okay. Uh, I guess we're changing. Oh, stage. oh yeah, we've got to change stage. Well, this, uh, I don't know the rules here, actually. Uh, that's a TWT thing. Maybe they're following that. All right. But, yeah, what do you think, uh, what, what What do you think his idea is with this Lucky Chloe pick? Is he going to try to use California rolls and things like that to counter hit some of uh, the strings? Or what, what do you think? I honestly don't know. Mm. Because I think Steve was a fine pick. Mm. I think he just needed to change some things. Yeah. Because Steve does really well against Raven in certain situations yep. where other characters don't. So I don't know why this Lucky Chloe pick is coming out. Maybe he just feels more comfortable in the matchup. Maybe, Maybe he's picked up on certain habits that Nindo has that I just haven't picked up on. Regardless, I'm curious to see how he uses this Lucky Chloe. Is he going to play a full dose style Tekken where he just you know, bum rushes his opponent? Or is he going to play a reserved style where he waits for Nindo to make mistakes? But right now, Nindo not really making that many mistakes. Playing really well. Whatever he does, he's, he's got one game to make it work. And we, got a, we got that stage change Ooh, into Domo Di Serio. Di Serio. No, it was C it's the, I think it's the Cathedral, of, Serio. The cathedral of Sirius. Of what? Sirius, the star. Oh, Sirius, okay. I don't even know if serious. I'm like, oh, it, it is intense, but okay. You don't follow, you don't follow Tekken Wall? Come on, bro. Hey, man, I used to, but I don't know what happened to Tekken Oh, here we go. The California rolls are coming out. It's going to be big damage. Ooh. Oh, she breakdances. I just realized uh, Prison picked the, this outfit. It's festive wow, colors. When Christmas season. Fight. Yeah, festive. That's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> She's got that red and green. <laughs> Gets that power crush into the back three. Oh, the power crush again. Yeah, Nindo does not want to make this, uh, like, sorry, does not want to allow this to go to a fifth game. Definitely not. He wants to close it out right now. Ooh, evening off those rounds. The El Clasico. Round <laughs> Ending the round with the generic low. Oh, nice step. Got the knee. Gets that down for two. Should get into the wall here. Four, two, one, plus two. Oh, okay, it's still, something still happened. Wasn't what he wanted, but definitely something. Okay, teleports out of the way, gets a running knee. See, because Raven has moved from back turn, nothing's guaranteed on her. That's so annoying. <laughs> so using that throw doesn't really do much for uh, Prison. Nice step. Okay, one more hit. Oh, she parried. Oh, standing for... Because uh, that could have been it. One hit yeah, from uh, Master Raven, that could have been it. Especially since the parry recovers faster now compared to before. Oh, out of here, boys. Oh, cancels it. Ooh. I gotta admit, he's not playing Chloe the way I expected, but it's working. Doing pretty well. You know, this man parties hard. Yeah. Not hard enough. John Ding's probably in the crowd like, come on, man, go party harder. He's got those glow sticks <laughs> on <laughs> Oh! And the hop kick, this might be. He does have rage. Nice oh, the damage! Oh, no! I think a Rage Art Yeah, Rage Art would have hit low enough, right? And it might have killed, but Whoa. he decided to go for max this damage. Is this, is his this is tournament life right now. If he doesn't take this back, party as hard as you need it, my friend. Go ham. Go some Charlie Sheen right now. <laughs> nice break there. Gets that 3 4 cartwheel. No Dash punish. In his face. Oh, don't press a button at the wrong time. This could have cost you. This might oh, be that's. It. If he could finish this combo. Oh, oh no! And the God. down back three right, dancing right, right. on his grave oh. takes another game. She danced. Alright, so that is two to three right now. Oh. That is clutched it back, clutched it back. So that Chloe pick seemed to work out. Yep. But he's got no he has to stick with that right now. He's got no other choice. He's gonna have to finish it out. Uh, I hope he's got some more setups because the way, uh, it, it's getting it seems to be getting harder as time goes on for Round him to one. Uh, defend against Monster Raven. Fight. Ooh! Oh, Don't give them a all damn. Damn. Will all break. Right. Balcony break in the first combo of the game. Gets wow, that look, end. that's that's half health. Oh, the health sweep! If Chloe ends with that move, uh, ends combos with that move, you need to mash Spring Kick. That, was, that was excellent. Perfect. That backdash and then uh, punished him for being wow, back turn. Excellent job there. Got just out of range Fight. of that follow-up. Of the, sorry, of the flip. Goes for the Cali roll. 
trying to get a count here with the back four. Oh, okay. Can you catch it? Oh, back turn. I don't know what the combo is here, but I hope he does. It's going to be rough. Oh, very oh, nice. Oh, that's a wall splat. Not quite. Oh, can he close this out? Or is uh, Nindo going to make a comeback? Oh, he's going for the rolls. Oh, it goes for the low. That is a scary situation to be in. All right, prison. One round away from evening up the scores. Who would have called this? I, I don't know. I don't know, dude. This is crazy. <laughs> All right, here we go. Got to out of the air. No conversion. It's very oh back turn. Oh counter hit. Let's go. It's very rare that you see a lucky Chloe in tournament, especially at this level. You, see, he doesn't, see you have to mash the spring kick there. Mm. I don't think he knows about the follow. -up. Oh, nice parry. Oh, the low's coming out. Oh, prison waiting for his opportunity. Oh, is that tech? Do I need to remember that one? He should have waited. Oh, I would have waited for the parry, but oh, power it crush. One more anyway. hit for Lucky Chloe. Oh, Nindo. Oh, uses his rage. Nice. Hundred percent. That was a setup. Hundred percent. He's like, this guy's gonna parry something, and I'm gonna flip on it. I like that. That was sick. Something I want to point out that is important here. Mm -hmm. Last year, Nindo was also the rep for Tunisia. Mm -hmm. He ended up losing to Dion Gray, mm -hmm. which is uh, Jack Lay from Australia. Mm -hmm. And the way he lost. Dion started just throwing things out mm -hmm. and they hit. Oh. That seems to be a style that clusters Nindo, but can he do something here to change the flow of the game? Right now, it seems like Risen, just everything hitting for him, getting everything that he wants. You know, all these hop kicks, all these launches, all these counter hits in his favor. I think uh, a lot of why maybe it makes it difficult for him is Nindo does press a lot of buttons. I'm not saying he's, like, he just mashes buttons, but his style is very offensive, a lot of pressure, and he's got a lot of setup. So with Raven, he needs to put himself in those positions, and it takes a few moves to get there. So he'll look for parries, he'll look for you know back turn setups, he'll look for all kinds of stuff. And I guess if you're just throwing stuff out, it's going to mess with his timing, it's going to hit him when he doesn't realize he's going to. So he's got one game to adapt right now, uh, but the same thing goes for Frizen. He's got one game to make sure he can cement this one for him. Well, let's see how it goes. They're having to think, having to chill for a second. All right. Oh, we got a character change. And Nina. Ooh, okay. So I guess he was not comfortable using um, Master Raven in this set anymore because I guess a few of the things that he was uh, using the most was just getting capitalized on. And I think he was just like, nah, I don't want to deal with that anymore. Let's bring out somebody else. Let's go. Nina's one of those characters with Round a lot one. more straightforward Fight. tools in neutral. Like, she obviously has a lot of stuff that you, are situational, but she has put down for one access to generic clothes oh, and whatnot. This, this is gonna hurt, dude. Wow. That's a lot of damage. That low itself just did like at least 10%. Oh, catch him out of the air. Might get to the wall here. Oh, yeah. Look at that wall carry. Let's go for the Oki. Goes oh. for the fully charged 1 plus 2. Oh, no duck there. No duck again. Oh, power crush. And gives him the round. Alright. This is final game, guys. Like, the, these guys are on the edge right now. Loser does is eliminated from the tournament. Yep. This is the last game, as you mentioned. Now they hit. Look at that damage. Oh, another one. Oh, oh, oh! I thought he had some. Oh, he ducks. Yeah, he was ready this time. Yep. And First this time he blocked. Granted, it. he does not, does not drop the combo. Oh wow! Evening up the rounds. All right, this is this is the closest match we've had this entire tournament. This is as close as it gets, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, oh! He went for it. No punish. Okay, goes with the knee. Going for that full crouch yeah. low, trying to get a counter hit. Nindo having trouble keeping up with this right now. Oh. Good, keeping his position. Close to those plus frames. Ooh! It high crushed there, Ed still got a counter hit. He's still getting hit by that setup, does not know how to get out the extra damage. That oh, is he going to come back? A lot of moves coming out right now. Ray Ray tribe tribe poison spit! No duck. Oh, and, and just checks him. Excellent defense by Prison in Round the clutch. Four. And Woo! now, at Fight. match point, after being on the precipice of defeat, can oh, he bring it he back the all the way? Nindo, he could be going home if he does not take this round. Oh, oh it's a wall bounce as well. Oh, Look my Look at God. this damage. And the Oki. Oh, the overhead. He was waiting for that low again. Oh, and he got it. He punished it this time, but didn't complete it. That could have got a wall splat. I think he wanted the health sweep, but regardless, it worked out his favor. Oh, okay. Ranger? What? 
Oh! He hits! He's gonna just frame it. Let's go. He missed one of them. Is this enough oh, damage? Oh, damn. Alright, not yet, not yet. Oh! Floats. Did the in rage. Rage the rage! rage, rage. Oh, double oh. KO! What? The absolute worst way to lose oh. one in the. And how lucky it was for Frizen. The trade. Obviously, in his favor, takes it over Nindo oh in my the God. clutch and brings it back Damn. after being down 3-1. That, that Chloe pick turned everything around, upside crazy. down, everything you want to, every, any way you want to describe it. Just Jeez. phenomenal that gameplay from Frizzle. You barely see double Ks, and at the end of a tournament set, the final round, you get a double. I thought the, I thought the, uh, the Blonde Bomb was going to win. Yes, yeah, so did I. Yeah, it was a That's what you get 12 frame mid with that standing <laughs> for. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. So, uh, I think the next match will be the final one for tonight. Final one for the top 16. All right, yeah. so next up, stick around. We're just going to go on a short break, get the players ready. Uh, we need to calm down. <laughs> uh, we're going to have Anakin representing the USA and Mr. Good representing Chinese Taipei. So make sure you don't go anywhere. If you do, go to the bathroom, get a drink, come back, and we'll see you guys soon. Championships with Tekken 7. Now, we've got a treat for you guys. We got the legendary Anakin on stream for USA, and we've got Mr. Good for Chinese Taipei. So we're probably going to see a Jack 7 vs. Geese match, and we're joined today by Alchemist. I'm back on the mic. What's He's up, back guys? On the mic. And um, this, oh, I don't know, man. this one's going to be good. It's going to be a very interesting. Anakin's been on a big roll uh, recently, not just today. Uh, Mr. Good has made it this far as well. He's doing, been doing pretty good, so I'm very curious to see how this one pans out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right. So um, we mentioned before um, Anakin's been on a roll. So he was at TWT. He did very well. He's been doing very well in US tournaments. He's been beating Jimmy recently, actually. Um, so I don't know. He's, he's come up with some good stuff. His ch style's changed. He's adapting to the game. So we're going to go to the match now and we'll see how it's going. This will actually be the last match of top 16. After this, we're going to be going to top 8. Yep. So, so we'll we're be we doing uh, two matches of top eight. Yep. Yeah. And that will determine the top four for tomorrow. Oh, that's going to be good. But man. before we get ahead of ourselves, we got this match. We've got Mr. Good for Chinese Taipei. This is Mr. Anakin from the USA. Let's let's go. I like uh, Mr. Good's tattoo there. It looks pretty sick. I just can't tell what it is, but it's like a collage of some stuff. Yeah. Oh, damn. Anakin's... Uh, so the US eSports logo is an uh, eagle with some headphones. <laughs> Sorry. And a mouse. And a mouse. Is he going after the mouse? Is that like an analogy for something? I don't know. Alright, anyway, we're about to start this geese versus Jack7 as predicted in arena. Very suitable. Let's go. How do you think this one's gonna go? What do you think Mr. Good has to do to break through Come Anakin on. right now? Um this might be a He has to make him scared to do four foot one. Something like an approach tool, you gotta make Jack scared because Jack wants to work at a certain range, and if he's not working at that range, he's gonna try and get a good punish or create a situation where he'll just stand there and take his mix down. Mr. Good's gotta prevent that, and I think Geese of all characters is really good at doing that because he has parries which will instill fear in the opponent. Hopefully, yes. Oh, counter hit low, let's go. Nice combo. Nearly full bar of meter. So yeah, Geese does build meter much slower than he used to, but when you do have that meter, it's still as deadly as it's always been. Maybe even deadlier now because of the new uh, Moon Slides to follow up uh, his true. extension. Oh, okay, Mr. Good coming in hot right now. First round against USA's Anakin. See, that forward one plus two, he liked starting rounds with that yesterday as well. A lot of the times it got him killed, but this time, you know, just showing it, showing that, you know, I'm not scared to throw out a low crush. The Geese can punish Jack's down forward two with uh, back three two. Uh, if he has meter, he can get a lot of damage out of that. Even, but, even if he doesn't have meter, he's got that back one too, which is still really, yeah. really good. Excellent, uh, excellent punish there. Uh, plus six or plus seven on hit, very, very good range. Take him to the wall. Okay. That's uh, his new trademark move. The running, the running two. Yeah, the overhead chop. Oh, tailspin. Oh. Alright, two rounds to one right now. Mr. Good down one round, but we can make it back at any time. We haven't seen Mr. Good use his meter yet. He still has, he's still sitting on two bars. You know, he's got that Raging Storm whenever he needs it. But, I think he's been, 
you know, a bit greedy with it. He might want to throw it out, just, you know, start some pressure. I think he's waiting for a down for a two with or a block so he can get that launch punch opportunity. Very good defense there by Mr. Good. He, he waded through all that uh, offensive mannequin and then hit him with that while sending three. While I did three. Ooh, can't do it that close. Mannequin. Three rounds straight after losing the first one. Well done. But Mr. Good didn't do too bad at all. Just uh, at that start of that round, I don't know what happened. Maybe it was intentional. He did a neutral jump. I don't know if he was expecting to do a kick afterwards or something, but Anakin took that, floated him, and took him straight to the wall. Essentially, what happened there was the moment Anakin got a combo and got Mr. Good to the wall, the round was as good as over because Mr. Good didn't really deal well with that pressure at the wall, yep. and Anakin just using all the plus frames all the mix-ups at the wall to take advantage of his character's keeping tools. Him there, yeah, keeping him there. Keeping him there. Locking him down all day. And we got a stage change. We're going from the arena straight to Hammerhead. We got wider area to play with. Yep. And we got square walls. There's no more of those corners where they curve and you get those funky combos. <laughs> Come on. All right, let's go. This might be a Granted, Geese is pretty good on those curved stages, oh. but he does have the stand-up throw, and Round it picks up one. almost every time. Fight. Four, 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 one, there it is. Well, he's not scared of it right now. You know what? Did you see Mr. Good use the bar in the end? I didn't pay attention no, to it. So he died with all the meter that he had built up. I guess so. If he did, that's definitely not what you want to be doing. You want to make use of it. At oh, least, no. yeah. It's not an expiry date. You gotta, you gotta eat it. Or well, you gotta make your opponent short. <laughs> no duck on the one two four two. Ooh, trick. that could have been very bad. Right? Doesn't get the tails. Oh, got him ducking. Catches in on that mid. We'll get him to the wall here. Oh, the jump over setup. You don't see many jacks do that stuff. Is he a low player? Many characters have that kind of setup, but you have to know which moves and which situations that will work at. Anakin was ready for that one. Carries to the wall with that. Oh, caught him getting up. Oh, got him pressing the button. Look at the damage. Is this man playing Oh, Jack, low parry. Or is he playing Sentinel? Oh, here we go. Oh, he couldn't. That would have been insane. Damn, Damn. Unlucky there for Mr. Good. Two Fuck. rounds down in the second game. Oh, nice parry. What, what kind of read was that? I mean, it worked out. He, he that parried was, that hit. If only he had bar, he would have gotten a big oh, combo yeah. with that big on the wall as well. Oh, counter hit mid. This is exactly what Mr. Good needs. Goes for that back three for the Oki. Break on the one plus two throw. Oh, nice. Nice. So he did the exact strategy that uh, Anakin did before, used before. Just kept him at the wall, did not want to let him get out. That's, that downfall was super risky though. Oh, he didn't need to go for that, but it worked out in his favor. Maybe he's like, he's not going to expect this, so let me throw this out. Alright, he's pushing into the wall. This is not what Mr. Good wants. Anakin getting whatever he wants at this point. Mr. Good with no meter to work with, and that should be it. Do you the think Mr. Good's going to switch stages, maybe to a wall this stage? I feel like him getting stuck at the wall against Anakin's pressure is really one of the banes of his uh, game right I think as now. Geese, you probably want walls. You definitely do, but is it worth giving up your advantage to disadvantage the opponent? It depends where he thinks he's going wrong at the wall. Yeah. It might be just because, you know, he's just guessing wrong. And that's obviously not going to change whether, without, with or without walls. He's gone straight back into it. Ooh, last hit. You don't see that one hit too often. Oh, wow. Reads harder than Diamond. Waits for the parry. What is this, what is this combo? This is three back threes in a combo. Just dashing straight in his face, pressuring with that full crash down oh, back one. Wow. Three in a row for you. He still kept holding forward. Is this button broken? What's going on? He's just holding forward all You gotta watch those ankles, man. Oh, he he's watching his ankles. I like this combo he's doing. It's with the new move. He's got like two back ones in it. Interesting choice. Oh, try to swipe it. Ooh. That's the mix up to that high kick with plus. All that without any meter. He still does have meter though. And the running two chops him straight out of the air. Goes for the plus oh. and again. Oh, oh and again. <laughs> oh my god. This man's throwing out moves Jeez. and they're all hitting. But the, the rounds before this, it was just full crash down back on. This time, just overhead chop repeatedly. Oh, he finally gets a down for one extension. 
Oh, the other time it was either ducked or blocked. <laughs> Alright, he's in his head right now. And oh, again. here we go. Oh. He's standing still. He's just taking the pressure. Mr. Good needs to get out of there. Debugger comes out. Mr. Good oh, in range. Nice Commits the second hit. Nice punish by Mr. Good with the last standing one. Back against the wall, but his health one. lead is too big. Oh my god. Alright, this is 3 0 so far. The cajones on this <laughs> man <laughs> dashes up and does the down back one. Wow. I All really right. like the way Anakin's playing. This is. If your opponent has shown that they don't know how to deal with your offense, mm -hmm. why change it? Yeah. Let's see how it goes now. So, Anakin looks pretty chill. You know, he's a veteran. Uh, nothing much to worry about so far. He's uh, taking it 3 0. Mr. Good could definitely make it back. We've seen we've seen this kind of stuff happen. He's staying at the same stage. Whether or not that's a good choice uh, remains to be seen. But we'll see what uh, Mr. Good can bring out in his last potential last game. And it was still in the hammerhead stage. Oh, he went for that blue. Nice low parry. Did he try to do it after down four? Uh, <laughs> Saint does that a lot. Oh, Mr. Good there. Oh, There's that shot again. Yeah. Repeat offender. Oh, not close enough for the wall. Bouncing. What? Jumping swipe. Oh, oh he's, he's standing in his Oh, nice. Okay, this, this should be one out. This should be it. Just rage out. Rage out. No, oh, okay. Oh, he should have just went for the other one. Please don't. Oh, please don't. Please. Okay, he finished it. Oh, okay. I'll be like, bro, you don't want to lose like this. Either one would have killed. Yeah. Fight. One just takes a lot more effort he, and a lot he, more risk. He wanted to send a message. But I'm still alive. I'm still alive. <laughs> Don't mess with me. Gets that down back one. See, he's just letting him go in. You can tell he's scared to press a button on Anakin's approach. He should be trying to keep him out. He has tools to control that oh, range as well. Again. Oh, that was sick! What? He does not have bar, but he still makes use of that wall spot. Yes, the Oh my through. god, he's taking it nearly to the other wall. Oh! Here we go. Can he finish it here? Play with another combo after this. What's his option? Oh, whips the grab. This should be it. Rage Art comes Damn, out. Damn, that, oh, that would have been a sick comeback, but that's out there. I think he'll build the meter on, when he dies. Oh, oh just, just shy of him. Him, yeah. So yeah, he's almost on one bar. First couple hits in the round, we'll get him the meter. There we go. Bam. He built the meter just then. Oh, low parries are coming out strong. Oh, slick duck. There's that down four. Gets the count hit into the big boot. He uses the bar for some pressure. Goes for the power throw. Oh! Oh my god, he just made the a combo. The conversion, he hit him out of the air and still got a combo with that wall jump. He's just standing in his face. Oh, that could have been launched right there. I don't think he wanted to because he thinks he's going to string along with the extra hits. Okay. And Anakin on match Round point right now. Ooh. Set point right now. Let's go. Oh, no punish there, he's been too far away. He's low, he's got, he's got that timing on Has he hit a single side step three? I feel like Anakin's ready for every single one. Oh, trying to catch him up. Oh, no, he has to grab, debug. Doesn't duck there. Oh, but he was late, and the side step, this should be it. Damn. That mistake has lost him the two, two rounds already. And that one was a super crucial one. Anakin takes it 4 0 over Mr. Ooh. Good. Chinese, Chinese Taipei eliminated from the tournament. A valiant effort making top 16. Mm -hmm. Anakin from the USA moves on into our top 8. Dang. That was good. Well, I feel bad for Mr. Good. There was a couple of times where I'm like, he has it. And he just, unfortunately, there was a misinput and couldn't take it. But. Thank you guys for watching that one. Um, we've got two more matches coming up tonight. Uh, we're just going to take a break now, and uh, we'll be back with those soon. Again, for the ISF 11th Sport Esports World Championship Tekken Top 8. So, the winner of the next match we'll tell you about is making it into Top 4. Remember, this is single elimination, first of four. So, who have we got, you ask? We have Take from Japan versus... Uncle Ben. From Thailand. Yes. So, uh, last year, you guys might remember, Thailand's representative was Book. Uh, this year, it's Uncle Ben, so it's some fresh blood. And Take, everyone knows Take. No introduction needed. Your master Take is a legend. So, I'm joined here by... Alchemist. And we're bringing you some spicy Tekken action. So, this, again, single elimination top four. So, this is for all the marbles right now. 
well, most of the marbles. Like, the majority of the bag is going into this match. So, we'll see how this one goes. Uh, Uncle Ben will be using what character, do you think? Shaheen. I think he's shown yeah. that he wants to stick with that Shaheen. Yeah. And Take, I have no idea. He uses Steve sometimes, Paul, Kazumi. Brian, Kazumi. You know, we'll see how it goes. Because uh, he was using Kazumi earlier today, so I wouldn't be surprised if he whipped that out and uh, see how it goes. Um, but yeah, what do you, you think is going to happen here? You saw, you've seen Uncle Ben play, mm. you've seen Take play. What, what kind of uh, different styles do you think are going to clash here, if any? Uncle Ben more so plays slightly more aggressive than Take, mm -hmm. though Take isn't one to, you know, slow things down for no, for no apparent reason. Yeah. If he thinks he can control the neutral by being aggressive, he will do so, and he will do so really well. But what I think is going to happen here is I think Take is going to pick one of the characters that controls neutral, you know, without overextending, like mm. Kazumi, like the Steve, mm. you know, one of the safer characters. Yep. And I think what is going to be hard for Uncle Ben is trying to find a way to open up that defense without overextending himself. Mm. And I think that's what's going to be the pivotal or the thing to follow in this matchup. Yeah. So they've known for a few hours uh, who they'd have to play. Like maybe one or two hours we had a break over there. Um, so we'll see what kind of research maybe Uncle Ben did or Take did into the opponent. And we'll see how we go. So just to verify, uh, Jun is the name listed uh, overall in the official stuff for ISF. But uh, he's actually going by Uncle Ben, so just remember that one. Alright, they're both thinking pretty hard, like, I don't know, they the character select the cream? Like, what's going on? I'm waiting for someone to adjust their glasses. Yeah. But well, you gotta do, like, anime style, like, <laughs> what I mean. <laughs> Put the middle finger in the in the ridge of the nose. It's like, I finally figured it out. Yeah, it's got, they got that, that glare on the glass. <laughs> Hit the lights. <laughs> Man, they got very similar glasses. I think right. uh, Taka is a bit more rounded though. So what we should mention is, as you said, the winner of this does make it to the top four. The top four will be held tomorrow. We will have, I think every match in top four will be first to five. Yep. So even more games. So that changes the matter even more so. Mm -hmm. But before we get ahead of ourselves, we've got this first to four. Japan versus Thailand. Thailand, no stranger to success when it comes to IESF. Book actually made the grand finals in 2017 where he had to verse Dorjin. Can Uncle Ben emulate those results? And oh, he's going what is this? with the Negan. This is one of the characters I've seen him play at tournaments recently. I wasn't expecting him to play Shaheen. This is the character I was expecting and I was bringing it out. Right, Season 3 go. Negan is a beast. Yeah. You know easy, that down easy, back two change, it's no longer points. minus 15 on blocks, minus 14. Four Round characters one. can launch. Why you do this? Uh, <laughs> it didn't really matter for Kazumi because her half kill almost never reached. Mm. But now it means her while standing 3 doesn't punish either. That's so she nice. has to go for while standing 4-4 four, four consistency. We're into the match, we've got infinite Azura. I wonder how much uh, Deegan experience at a high level Tate has. Not many Deegan mains out there, so let's see how it goes. Ooh, there it is. There's that new load. Every time he transitions into intimidation stance, you have to be scared of that low now. Before you can hold back and the grab with the option that broke down to the But now he has that low for the plus one, and then leaves you standing. <laughs> oh, there it is. Good punish there from Take. I think Negan is one of those heavily, heavily underrated characters. Oh, yeah. Nice step. KO. He has excellent jab strings. Round two. So many safe, sa safe mid mid strings like forward 4 3, sorry, down forward 4 3 and whatnot. If you can utilize them and trick your opponent with the amount of hits, it's going to be very, very hard for them to deal with it. Goes for that sidestep. He can get super annoying with these tools. And if you're the type of player that likes parrying, you're gonna have a bad time. He's got a bat, what are you gonna do with that? And every time Kazumi commits to that second hit of the down falls one two, he's got that new punish while standing one two. Oh. And it goes into intimidation stand. So he does get that mix up. Yeah, the way they built him seems to be a lot more I think when he came out, he had intimidation stance and some things too there, but I think they're trying to build him around that stance now. The stance is very strong. Also, he doesn't really have a uh, low crush. His low crush is Intimidation Stand. Oh, yeah. So if you read a low, you want to use that Intimidation Stand to get that free auto launch. Yeah. Goes to that down back Oh, the low parry is on uh, the Very good. <laughs> Look at that pushback on that move. That's like the Devil Jin Demon Steel pedal. Oh, he's got nice the read on that time. Again. See, at tip range, that wouldn't have, would not have worked. But Take recognized the range of punishes. So whilst anyone who gets the max damage you can. Not bad. All right. Trying to knock her head off. 
of that round bat. Four. Fight. Okay, two rounds to one right now over Uncle Ben. Nice punish. These down back fours, every single one has been blocked so far. Ooh, here's one too. Take has picked up on every low timing from Uncle Ben, except for that bow with the bat from Intimidation Zone. Which is a bit difficult. Well, yes, because it's a, like true mix-up in that situation. Using that down forward one to keep him in check. Brings out the bat, gets those plus frames, is in rage. Will we see him make use of that? Back. One, back one launch from Quarter Second Forward 1 could end this. And so patient, absolutely not greedy in the slightest. Going for safe down forward 1 pokes to close it out. Using the infinite stage to his advantage. And takes the first game, does Keeping target. Keeping it super basic, is what you need. Now, will we see a character change maybe? Mm, I think he wants to stay... Uh, change stages before anything. Mm. I think the Negan was fine, but when your lows are being blocked, you can't start your offense like that. You kind of want to make it difficult for your opponent to move around as much. I think going to the walled stage is the right choice. Also, I think he should be using a lot more back one plus two, but the reason why he's not, I think he's scared of standing four. <laughs> so he has to find his timings. If Take is looking for a low or fuzzing fuzzing the down back fours, in that timing he wants to use that back one plus two, even if it's blocked, it's on plus four. They change it, get safe now, minus nine on block. So we've seen a lot more of that from Take when he wants to start up his offense. Excellent with my walking to Kazumi's weak side, gets that launch, should get him to the wall here. What's for O2? Oh, that was still pedal. Oh, Kami running with that bat. Very nice punch. Yep. And there's that punch we're talking about on that down forward one to go to the intimidation. That good use of that by Uncle Ben. Just dashing in his face, trying to get, trying to gauge a reaction from him, get a reaction from him rather. Commits the second, that is a safe mid mid stream. Sorry, I'm. See, he's playing so fast that this is what's making Uncle Ben scared to do that back one plus two. It's just quick jabs, quick lows, quick home moves, a down forward one to keep him in check. And right now, he's pushed him all the way to the wall. Commits to the last hit, no punishment, gets that down back three into the running two. Gets that down back four, one hit away, and it's down forward one once again to close it out. Target ties it up with one round apiece. Fight. Down forward one to it out. Flash punch combo. He interrupted the up forward four. I think Uncle Ben was looking for a counter hit timing. But Take, once again, playing too fast for that kind of move to work in the neutral right now. Oh, counter hit. Very good. Oh, that's gonna hurt. That series of events is very interesting because that counter hit caused Kasumi to be off axis. And the way you block uh, determines what you get hit by and what you don't. Because it's a true mind game in that situation. You have to hold forward to avoid a lot of situations. So it's quite uh, weird for people to remember. Yeah. Uncle Ben takes it. Very nice. Well, then round four. Fight. Oh. Catch them stepping. The strings are coming out. And there's that forward, forward, forward <laughs> that did work against Wowza. Caught him in his fuzzy timing. Can he do the same against Uncle Ben? Ben. Take this one to the wall. One, two, oh. He went for no, the Oh, okay, yeah. He could have gone for the stab, get a bit of extra damage, but as you mentioned, Oki is a decent option. You know, Mainly to some other Yeah, stuff. Negan has so many wall combos, and they all serve different purposes. The, the reason he went for that one is because he wanted Oki with Intimidation stands. But now, Take once again pushing Uncle Ben to the oh, wall and the Rage Art. This will hit, hurt. but the question is, is it enough? I don't I think, think so. so yeah. We're going to have one have more mix-up in this round. Right, What's go? it going to be? Oh, down back three. <laughs> Very, very risky, Final but it works out in his favor, ties it up at two rounds apiece. This game's pretty close, that's actually two rounds apiece, let's go anyway right now. There's that standing four. Side steps right to realign, we'll get to the wall with that tiger. Boom. Oh. And the follow-up. He's trying to make his way out from the wall. I a lot of chops. Last season, that would have been good right there, back to <laughs> on the wall. He gets the grab. Yeah. It's an unbreakable 50-50 mix And Negan in rage. We once again have that situation where he can use the rage drive. He has three still different alive. variations. Rage drive at the wall. Yep. Uh, the second chip kill we've seen from Take with that rage drive. Very well done by Take. Takes the second game. Very, 2 to 0. It's very rude, actually. Over Uncle Ben. <laughs>
All right, so I think Uncle Ben's doing really well with Nathan. Yep. I don't think he should change characters, but you know he might not be feeling it right now. Yeah, he's the way he's trying to close out rounds is kind of where he's you know falling behind slightly. Take has been really good at closing out rounds today. Uncle Ben, you know, just slightly, slightly behind in terms of timing when closing out rounds, getting caught off guard and getting counter hit or getting poked out of the tools that he wants to close out rounds with. We're going into this third game. Will we see the character change or are we going to see a stage change? Let's find out. Do you think Shaheen would do well against Takei's Kazumi? Mm, I think it's the same, to be honest. Negan has a better sidestep, so he can move around Kazumi's moves uh, better, especially because he's such a big character. He has good range as well. Geese. But it looks like that one matter because we have a geese pick. Oh. And we got an infinite stage. Is this season two right now? I think this stage heavily favors Takei. Uh, but let's see what Uncle Ben can do with the infinite stage. It makes it a lot harder to, you know, land your low pokes Round against someone that's gonna, going to be moving a lot. But that also works in Uncle Ben's favor because it's the same thing for Take. Granted, Uncle Ben wants to play the slow game and move around a lot and try to bait with. Oh, nice step. Nice with the overhead. Chomp you down. You no wall, so can't resist any Gets that tiger end up for the Oki. Runs up to him. Follows him, yeah. See, this is just the way Take plays. He gets a life lead, and he makes it so hard to come back. Yeah. He just controls the neutral, and it's with no risk. He's just so good at doing that. His style is so Ooh, effective that was a clean back when he has a life lead. I mean, yes, you can duck that, but obviously it's not safe on block. Now they hit. All right, good timing. Decides to go for the 3 4 option. I like it. Tiger Ender. With the running. Geese does have Rage. We, he's got one of the most damaging Rage arts in the game with that deadly Ray. Will we see it come out? Nice Both duck. Take so on Ooh. point. Ducks the high. Three. Two rounds straight for Take in this third game. He didn't make it three. He didn't even bother going for anything like a launch or a fancy. He was just like, yep, uh, flash punch, oh, no, that's it. <laughs> Nice break. break on throw. Going for that down forward for one of Kazumi's longest range mids. Okay, constantly just back dashing out, moving a little bit left, then coming back in every time. There we go, four left. Ooh, good punish. Alright, bad. Having a bit of trouble with the cut. Okay. No, no duck this time on the string. I think he expected him to mix it up. Because yeah, last time, it, yeah, last time he went for the high. And obviously there's no risk in just standing Okay, oh, okay. he went for something bigger this time. Oh, dude. Oh, that should be that. Yeah, he was ready for it. Oh. Tarte is too sharp right now. Yep. Three games straight, off, and three rounds straight in that match. That was good. Very good. Uncle Ben, looking like, looking like he's got something up his sleeve right now. All what right, is that? See. Kind of just half expecting to open his sleeve, which is rice. He's going <laughs> to pick He's gonna pick that Leroy. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> I mean, at this point, you have to change something. Take, you know, the, the geese did not work out against Take, especially in that infinite stage. Whether it was a wall stage, would it have made a difference? Who knows? But I feel like he's going to have to make a change, and he does. He's going to that Shaheen, the character that we've seen him play the most in this tournament, and we're going back to that hammerhead stage. Take is still on a three game lead over Uncle Ben. Can Uncle Ben shift the momentum in his favor? It's a tall mountain to climb, but if anyone could do it in this situation, it's, un it's Uncle Ben. Round see what Shaheen can do. Fight. Back in Hammerhead as well. So weird, weird wall, stay, uh, weird wall distances. Let's punish. Here we go. I think if anything, this will help a little bit because I'm sure he's the most comfortable with this character, if anything. Mm. When you're playing a character that you're most comfortable with, you generally have better situational awareness with yep. them as well. Although, you know, you play a character that, you know, you pick for the matchup, you might not be ready for the situations, exactly. even though you've studied them and yeah. understand what you can do in those. So going back to this Shaheen, the one we've seen in the tournament, might be the right choice. Here. We're gonna have to see. But something I also noticed when, you, when you're using your most comfortable character, you get sometimes you get too comfortable and you make a lot of mistakes because you think, oh yeah, I'll be fine. When you're not using your most comfortable character, you're a lot more on edge. Ed, ed, sorry, on edge. So you're more cautious, but it just really depends on the player. I guess it works both ways. Yeah. Oh, very nice counter hit. 
He's going for that 4-2-3 option. A lot of Shaheens are opting for the 2-3 instead. It's 4 less damage, but you get plus 10 frames and a mix-up. But, regardless, gets that 52 damage from that while standing on counter here. Good. Another one. I'm trying to get those plus frames. He's using that a lot. I really like the way he's using it. Now Shaheen can transition into a crouch and force a mix-up. If, if he doesn't see your opponent, you see your opponent not buttoning yeah. on that back one block. Woo! This might All be right. it. That should be it. Yeah, should be able to get, get it to roll down back to the okay. Doesn't need to do yeah, anything fancy. It. Very nice. Okay, good. Soft standard combo takes it. Gets himself Round on the board with, with that Shaheen. Very dangerous situation though. He's uh, three down right now. So he needs to keep this going. Otherwise, it's going to be a problem. Back against the wall. Let's it rip. Take uh, deciding that he has enough of a lead to commit to those risks. Yeah. See how it goes. Nice punish. Always minus 14, so you always get that while standing one two and that's tip range. Checking in with that down forward one. Seeing if he wants the button. Will he commit to the second hit once again? Ooh. Gets count here with the 4-4. Four, four. Neither player in rage just yet. Uncle Ben almost there. And there it is. 1-1-2 one, one, knockdown in rage. Will we see the rage drive rage drive come out? Take too patient, waited it out and round gets that four. punish. One round away from taking it over Uncle Ben. This is the last chance for Uncle Ben. Try to get that last one. life. He goes for that 4-1. Checking in with the 1-2. Does have the, the options after it. Take not biting. He's down back three, he's doing some work right now. Went for the power crash, just throw me home for that though. He likes using the down back three into the running two, which is what I think he was trying to do. But the power crash didn't really, uh, didn't really do anything badly anyway. Pressure being built up. Oh, gets the counter hit down for it. This should be it. There we go. All right, back on the board. Two rounds apiece. Final round. Next round is going to decide is he going home or is he going to the next game? He's dashing his face. Takeshi's like, I'm waiting over here. I'm waiting over here. He goes to the overhead. Oh! This right. might be a crucial moment in this match. This is going to big damage. Goes for Oki. Oh, oh, oh the Galai hop kick low. into the low. Can Take bring it back? Does have rage. Oh, uses does, it. This doesn't look good for Take right now. It's going to be now. really hard. Oh. And the down three. Uncle Ben okay, gets nice. on the board. Woo. Maybe he should have started with Shaheen. Or maybe it was just all that information he got from the last three games. Mm. See, the thing is, I'm not sure if he knew Take was going to go with that Kazumi pick. Mm. Maybe he just picked, you know, Negan for, as a comfort pick. But Take sticking with the Kazumi, going straight into the rematch, was still in Hammerhead. Gets, and we're starting off with counting. We got that 4 1 into the wall combo. Goes for the max damage this time. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Mix up, slide. Shaheen's 2 3, one of the best 10 frame punishes in the game. If you do go in stance, it's plus 10 on hit. It's very, a very good 10 frame punish with decent damage into uh, mix up. Yes. It's amazing. And Take on the last sliver of life does have rage poking away at Uncle Ben. Uncle Ben with the generic load closes it out. Round two. It's looking pretty good right now. Looks like like complete complete uh, mood shift in there. Yeah, this Shaheen pick is really really working out so far. Goes for a back four of his own. And Uncle Ben walking to the right side between attacks just to avoid some of Kazumi's pressure. Now he's got his back to door. This is not where he wants to be. Take getting free reign and gets the throw. No break. He'll get a combo here. Can he close it out? One more hit should do it. And the down forward one. Cash in on tech right there for Take to take it. Two rounds away from taking the set once again. Oh, that's a in. grip. One, one, two. Very risky, but he conditioned him to button there. Oh, look, 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 down this is, one. See, the reason why he was using down forward one was because Shaheen had his wall to, had the wall to his right. He cannot step down forward one. So it's essentially a, a homie move that's minus three at I 13 instead of the back two, which is I 15 minus nine. Oh, okay. down back three to close that round down. Round four. Could this be it? And this is match point for Taki. Once again. Oh, he's looking a lot better than the last one around here. Yeah. Uncle Ben looking at the bottom of the barrel right now on his last life. Almost in rage with his Shaheen pick. So he's hoping he finds something down that barrel because it's not looking good. And, and that's finish, it. Take. Super clean finish. He's finding a ticket home in that barrel. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Very well done there by Take. Very clean, efficient play. And a good effort by Uncle Ben making that top eight.
Unfortunately, he's out of the tournament, but we will see Take tomorrow in our top four. Yep. Ladies and gentlemen, we have one more match for you tonight, and it is a, a great match. Mm -hmm. We have USA's Anakin representing Red Bull and Rocks Gaming Knee Woo. from South Korea. It's going to be big. This is a match we've seen many a time throughout this year, and this is a first of four. It's going to be a long set. Stick around. We'll come back after a short break for some great tech in action. See you guys soon. Annual ISF 2019 Tekken 7 World Championships. This Rin, this we're up to our last match. Ooh. I'm hyped. All right, we've got a really good match for you guys lined up. One they've all you all you what they all waited for. I'm stumbling on my words right now. We got Korea mm -hmm. versus the USA. We have Knee versus Anakin. Wait, As what? Already? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Before top four, we got this in top eight. Single elimination. First of four, the loser goes home. Damn. We've seen this matchup so many times. We've seen Jack versus Devil Jin, and then Knee brings out that Paul to seal the nail in the coffin. Will we see a repeat of that? Paul is one of those characters Knee has been using a lot recently in tournaments. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's one of his strongest, strongest characters and one of his most successful characters, and especially in this matchup. But I feel like Anakin must have learned from previous experiences. Mm -hmm. Can he apply what he's learned in this match to take it over knee for the first time in a set th as long as this? I, I kind of low-key want to see uh, Leroy just for the fun of it. I like seeing these uh, Leroy, but I kind of want to see a machine one. That's just me. Devil Jin versus, uh, you know, Jack. Not bad, but I wouldn't mind. I think we're going to see maybe a, a Paul or a Steve. That would be... Like because it's a first to four, I think he's going to test with a character first. Maybe, maybe. He generally does that. Then, you know, if he needs a character for the comeback, you know, that poor comes back in, comes back in strong, and usually seals the deal. So maybe we will see a Leroy. Maybe we'll see a Ganryu. Yeah, who, maybe. The, who the hell maybe knows? Maybe a But I think Anakin, you know, sticking with old reliable, he's got that Jack 7 at the ready. Let's take a look. All right. Oh, geese. Oh. And he got how to stay. Yeah, I don't know. Is there a collusion? I don't know about this that's, guy. That's some real top top grade RNG. Mm, that's what he wants us to think. He's rolling on one side <laughs> and die, you know what I mean? <laughs> Alright, let's go. And we got that special intro for the stage. <laughs> Alright, this is the final game or final set on. of today, and it's me versus Anakin. This is grand final real Round quick. And what a way to end the night. I know, right? Fight. We're in good ass Tekken along the way. Stick around, guys, and we're on to the first match. Oh, they swing it, they swing it. Calm down, guys. You're like four matches at least. Okay, so why did you pick Geese? Uh, I'm, I'm not too sure, but uh, Geese's pressure is very good. Again, Jack cannot sidestep, and his punishment is very good as well. So he, he could be expecting to really whip out that punishment. And see how it goes with that. We saw. Um, I think Uncle Ben was it? Also, we saw someone play Geeks. Oh, sorry, Mr. Good versus Anakin. Yep. And we saw Anakin, Anakin did really well versus the Geeks. Yeah. He definitely has the XP. Maybe oh. he was watching that match, picked up on something, and now he's trying it out for himself. See if he can take that of those. Well, first off, he gets oh, the first round. God. It starts with the low carry. He's got some up his sleeve. He's got that moon slicer combo, gets to the wall, big damage here. Goes for the yes. single rep, for the OK into that down two. Anakin wow. pushing knee to There's the corner, but knee not having any of that. Gets the meter cancelled into the combo. He's going to end with the 1-2-1-2. One, two, one, two. Big Woo! damage and the seven golden letters Damn. on knee. He's coming in hot right now. Forward 1 plus 2, one of the best low crushes he has in his arsenal. Gets that blue spark up the Oh, jumping slide. Here we go. One of Geese's best moves. And he's built that bar once again. He's using it very efficiently. The first time he used the bar, he ended the round with it. Now he's got another one. Will we see the same thing? Went for a walk just now. And knee in a corner, works his way out with that back three, two cancel. Once again, 100% hit rate when he uses bar right now. Oh, look at that twitch stuff. What is happening? Anakin does have rage working away at his angry with those Oh, and that should children. be it. Oh, no, what? There is no punishment for that. That's consistent for Geese. You have to do forward to one at that range. His back was at the wall. I thought it was going to do back three two or something. I don't think it would have reached. Really? And Knee okay. takes a three round straight. I, I think Anakin's going to want uh, a stage change. Definitely. He's definitely not going to change characters. He didn't even break a wall. He's just like, we're oh, right. stuck. Oh, he's staying. Yeah. The, th the thing is. Knee winning that is very, very 
very good for Nii Bring because not only did he get information with a character you. that, you know, oh. is not the character he might Round want to use it, he might want it to use in this matchup, yep. but he gets, he's got one win and he's still geese. And he won three straight, so he's, he's abusing something Anakin has not picked up on. Oh, that's a big launch. Take him to the wall, break there. Woo. Look at this combo. Oh, couldn't get that knee in time. Dashing out, heavy machinery sound. <laughs> And the way Anakin plays Jack is just in your face, forcing you to react to his movement. And if you don't, he's just going to mix you up. He's got really good position here at the wall. Knee once again. Oh, does it Attacking his way out of that corner. Oh, debug. Let's go. Is he gonna... Oh, he was ready for that. We've seen all those thrown be broken. What? Uh, That's the same Anakin. sequence twice. <laughs> Full crouch down back one into grab, broke, and then did it again. A lot of Geese players do like to use that throw when they have their back to four, obviously switch aside. Yep. They don't break it and they get that guaranteed follow up. Once again, Nii does have that one bar to work with. And it is looking for Nii coming in on approach with that Ooh. down four two. We get him to the wall with the back three two. Wall breaks. Oh, oh and the conversion. Very well. Very well done by Anakin to recognize the situation. Oh my god, look at that. He has raised. Parry. This might actually be it. Oh, sidewall. Oh, oh, okay. He ought to use the tailspin. That would have been sick. If he didn't swap sides and the sidewall wasn't it, I yeah. think he could have killed because he had rage. And he does deadly rage. That's a ton of damage. But now both players in rage. Oh, full crowd. Oh, and gets him with the mid. Very nice. I really, like, I really like the way Anakin timed that low. He dashed, waited a bit, went to full crowd, and did the low. Expecting something from me, like a jab to check him. Nice. Take it to the wall. Oh, the second hit of one, two. I think it's still a low. He's the double repeat. Oh, big boot. Jack ammo into blue. Oh, 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 okay! Dive in! Nice! Woo! I know we're probably peeking, sorry guys, but damn! That was sick! To think he'd throw something like that out against me. He just stood there! It worked! I know, and I'm just saying, like, that but was how like, did god it like. That's what I wouldn't know. It's just like in Dragon Ball, it's like, let me let you charge your final finisher. <laughs> I'm gonna stand right here. And he's like, oh, I shouldn't have done that. Anakin ties it up at 1-1. One, one. I think Ni nee is looking to make a change here. What is it? Nope. It's a stage change. Oh, no, I thought you meant character. My bad. Mishima Dojo. Not liking those multiple uh, wall breaks. Maybe not. It worked pretty well for Anakin, that set. Well, that set. That game. 1-1 one, one right now. Like, this ain't even grand finals. What's going on? One of these guys has to go home tonight. Round one. Third Fight. match here. Sorry, third game here for this set. Starts oh, off with the jackhammer into the blue spot. See, Anakin, oh my Anakin God. uses so many unconventional moves that most of the time you're just not ready for them. There's that debugger. Knee was ready for that one for sure. Gets the move by the screw combo here. But even after this, they're not even going to be even on life. Anakin is that much worth it to start around. Step. Float. Oh, too many hits there. He had to dash slightly further. Goes for that wall bounce. Long range move. Geese does not have a consistent punish for it. Anakin, um, of course, knows that. Knee once again in rage. Goes oh, for the mid parry. Anakin too patient. Gets that down back once. Close it out. Gets the round. Knee once again on one bar. Has, has shown that he has been using it very effectively so far. Fully charged on the ground. So he had a hard, yeah, he had a hard read that he's going to stay down. If you do move, a move like shoulder will hit you. If you move around to the ground after that move. Oh my god. How many rounds? That, whoa, okay. <laughs> That's five rounds straight. Yeah, and the consistency on those boost parts? Oh yeah. Damn. Is this Saint? Is this Saint secretly on that Saint? Uses the meter. We'll get him to the wall here. What's the combo? Oh, it drops. The jab. I think the corner kind of messed it up there for me. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, oh, oh he didn't confirm properly! I think it would have hit if he let go at two. He yeah. went for three. <laughs> he wanted the big boy damage. He get this feeling of... Oh, nice. Pancake Not press. Dead, yeah. Oh, that down forward oh, two. Just out of range. Knee still has that one bar. They don't want to save oh, for the next round. Oh, he's up Oh my god, Knee dropped, dropped the combo! Oh, and the, the wild running one the shoulder to take it. Oh my god, what is happening right oh. now? Anakin on the cusp of taking his second game against Knee. 
that move hits you if you stay uh, if you move around on the ground. Punish, that's a recent update, so there's not a high on the second hit anymore, so you just gotta stand there and block it. I know a lot of people still duck and get hit. It's just muscle memory. Yeah. yeah. It's really yeah. annoying if the first day or so. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's gonna be big. Oh. It might be it. Right. You should get him to the wall here. Yeah. There it is. Oh, right. Two Didn't rounds even each, one game each. Final Didn't even round. need the wall on yep. that combo. Fight. Uh, currently he's got no meaning, he has to build it up, so Anakin should really take advantage of the situation. Maybe do some uh, things that he might not be able to get away with. So, so Neat stopped that five round streak, and now he's got two of his own. Yep. Who's going to take this decisive round? Oh, Anakin see, throwing out the... He's built his own mind game around that. <laughs> it's very, very interesting how he is using it, to be honest. Playing at range zero. Knee working on that bar. Oh my god. That's a big win. This is going to be very, very good for Anakin. Might oh, be able to... Well, really it's dead. one mix-up and he's dead. And oh, the down back well, one. Excellent. Anakin bringing it back. Woo! Damn, that was, that's crazy, dude. Is he going to stick with the geese, though? That's the big question right now. I mean, that's the question on everyone's mind. Knee is one of those players that doesn't really like changing characters too often. Yeah. We saw at TWT Finals, he stuck with geese throughout the entirety of his uh, top three run. So I think he's going to stick with the geese, and he does. I think maybe on the last Round life, one. he's going to bring out that four. Mm. If he doesn't, I wonder what the reasoning is. Many times I've seen him just stick with the character no matter what anybody thinks. Like, I remember he played Book at one of the Asian events. He used Kazuya, ah, yes. and he did not change. He, it was just... It was a bad time for him, but he's like, I'm sticking this out, and he ends up losing, but he's stuck with it. So let's see how that goes against the The Jack Death is actually only minus 11 on the He tried to go for that 12 frame punish. Used to be safe back in the day. Oh, get up here. Nice. Still managed to reach even at that range. I always thought of that move with Geese, the, launch, the launcher from Crouch. It looks really weird. It looks like the Statue of Liberty. Fight. <laughs> He makes that pose. He goes for that blue spark uppercut. Back to with the knockdown, oh, pushing him coming to in the hard. wall. Yeah. It's 10 seconds and Knee is already in rage. That's oh, how fast Anakin my is playing. God. Super speed man right now. Starts with the jab. Trying to poke him out. Nice step. Here we go. Knee gonna get a big combo. Step to the right into that ball. Sorry, step to the left right oh, to, to realign. Look at this Ooh. damage! Goes for the Oki with a single rep nice okay, the This time goes for the plus frame. Ooh. Two, two, two. Anakin, uh, Anakin coming in. Not Got scared of knees one meter. Stopping on it. Not dead yet. Oh, here we go. What could happen? Oh, went for the debug in the distance. Round four. Fight. Starts off with the down forward two. Decides not to use the back three two to launch it there. Back one two, good enough damage. Anakin launches him for it, gets him to the wall, goes for the shoulder and the empty up. Oh, and here. He's not letting him get away from here. You're locked down. Those side kicks. Oh, he was down there, but he just got up. Oh, my. Is that a setup? I swear to God, that's a setup. He's dead. Oh, boy. As long as he doesn't mess this up. Oh, my. That last hit does a grip of damage. That, that's the thing. If you drop that last hit, they can't die. You have to do the entire thing for you to die. Yes. So basically, you better not... If you geese play, you mess that up, you might still die after hitting that. You may get overkill in theory. But if you don't <laughs> hit that last hit, you're done. I think the other Rage Drive might have killed... Oh, Rage Drive might have yeah, killed. Yeah, I think it would. But again, they, these geese players, man, they want to be stylish. Nah, you, want, you want to be sure. Yeah, you want to be it sure. It does a lot more damage. Ties it up at two games a piece does mean we're going into this fifth game. Staying in the scene with Machine Madojo. Gets that low parry. Should be able to carry it to the wall here. Man, these moon slicing combos are so efficient with that amount of hits. You always get to the wall because of the gigant end up. 1-1. One, one. He's just chipping away this round. There's a lot of damage is going to really close. Getting hit, getting counter hit. He's still, he's still making use of that crouch jab even after the changes to it. Because a counter hit down one into the 4 3 is still a combo. He has that one bar. How will he make use of it? Anakin, once again, playing very aggressively. 10 seconds in the round, already pushed him to the wall and down to about 50% life. Sidesteps into the bar Ooh, usage from the 2 4 1. Not gonna get at oh, oh, he's never gonna mind. Go. Yep. This is definitely I gonna get into the wall. Look at this damage! Double rep Oh, and the down forward and one to the close down it out. forward one.
God damn, I must feel like try. He could have got a he could have got a drink or a sandwich or a bag of chips in that time. That was ages for a lot of damage. Bit late on that final for the rest of the mid. Jackhammer whips. Okay, maybe Aiken's lost. Uh, sorry, Aiken. Aiken's <laughs> lost a bit of his composure right now. Honestly, Nii is just so sharp on these whip punishes. He's standing too into the, you know, the, the meter cancel. And oh. it's done so much work for him in this set. Uh, and it's always on moves like back two and forward forward one. Nii up three to two now over Anakin. That's a big deal. We're going to what could potentially be the last game. This score is pretty good already. Two three. That's that's a pretty strong, pretty strong result so far. Because of the score as it is now, I don't know if Nii will change and lose this one. Maybe. The geese is yeah. working out, but it's very, very hard to well, say. I guess it depends how this uh, this game goes. Maybe, if, maybe if Nii gets blown out really hard, uh, you know, uh, three zero, maybe he'll decide. Okay, maybe that's enough for geese. But I'll have to see how that goes. Oh my God, the 50-50s are coming in. Right. Uh, he's still stepping that uh, jackhammer, but this time Anakin realigns so that it tracks him. Me already in rage. I feel like a lot of the rounds start off really in Anakin's favor because he plays aggressively, gets a lot of chip lows, chip lows, pushes him to the wall, and then when it slows down, me kind of brings it back. Yeah. See, right now he has rage. He needs one touch and he can take it. Goes for the power crush, but Anakin not having any of that. The thing is, I'm very sure he missed input and carried it. And if he did, that would have been the round. Because you don't just do raw power crush like that yeah. with geese. Oh, didn't want to risk punishing that one. Could have been pretty bad for him. Steps oh, around the side step one. This is going to be big damage. It might be oh. enough to kill. It will be if he doesn't drop this. Oh, oh my. And the Jeez. grounded hit on the Rapuken. Anakin could have teched that, but very, very difficult situation to be in. That's not going to happen very often anyway. <laughs> Nii chipping away at him. This time he is the aggressor at the start of the round. Gets that count hit. Down four. Does have the meter. Decides to end the combo early. Maybe for Oki. Anakin in rage. Has the wall to his right side. Making it much harder to step Jack's tool. No punish there by Anakin. Oh, look at him go. Corner him oh, back at the this wall. Could, this could be it out. Oh, that was sick. The count hit down back one with Rage was just enough damage oh, to yeah. take it. Anakin brings it back. If he could take the next round, he's evening up the score at 3 3 and they'll go to the final game. And there's that blue spark again. So consistent. Knee built up those two bars. This could be a ton of damage. Doesn't drop the combo. Might be able to carry here to the wall. Oh, Still has one bar to work with. Oh, no. This is going to hurt a lot. Single Ooh. replica for the Oki. What's right, he gonna do with that? Could he make he still has that one bar. Is he gonna use it? Is he gonna make oh, use of it? And he two. won't need to. The down two. This could be this could be Anakin's tournament life right now, or this could go to a final game. We're about to find Set out. Set point for Knee, ladies and gentlemen. Knee still on that one oh bar. Oh my god. The hardest of reads. Dash down for two by Anakin. Carries oh. to the wall. Oh my god. What is this conversion? Well, he here? tried. He tried. That was sick. Not the right axis though, but definitely got a lot of damage and a lot of style points from Knee there. on two bars once again. This is really scary for Anakin. Ooh, he put himself waiting. behind the wall. Knee pushing him towards the corner. Still has those two bars. Looking for a win. Oh! One more of him. Oh, he blocks. Is Knee going to bring this one back? Oh, this might be it! This might be it! Oh, he drops the combo! The combo. Oh, there's no break! Oh my god. Everybody dropping everything. I don't know. Well, sorry, folks. Just give me a second. Oh, jeez. He dropped the game-winning combo. Wanted to do the forward one. Went into the Rapuken by mistake. Mm. Was given a second chance on that throw. No break by Anakin. And Knee takes it over Anakin. That was literally the first uh, grab that went through. That after I, I I can't even count how many one plus two attempts came from Geese. That was at least forty, maybe. That was ridiculous. And the last one hit. That's the thing. You can keep trying. People are like, why do you keep trying to grab? <laughs> it's going to work one day. No, no, no. That's evidence. In the clutch, you'll forget. And it'll happen. Oh, my God. I think Anakin just had his hand on another yeah. button. And he just was not ready for that. Damn. Regardless, knee with the geese pick. Taking it over Anakin 4-2. to two. Excellent work. There. Moving on amazing. into our top four tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And that is it for today, ladies and gentlemen. USA eliminated from the tournament, unfortunately. We've mm -hmm. got Korea in the in the top four. So let's see who our top four is. So we've got Korea. We've got... Uh, who else have we got in top four? 
We have Korea, we have the Philippines, if yep. I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. We have Finland, and we have one more. Uh, Indonesia? Uh, no, Japan. Oh, right, yeah, yes, yeah, sorry, yeah, my bad. Yeah, so yeah, that yeah, is yeah. your top four the for Japan. tomorrow. All right. We will, we, we will be back tomorrow for day three. That Ooh. is it for day two. Thank you for tuning in. Mm -hmm. And we'll see, see you guys, guys tomorrow. Thanks for joining For us. more Tekken 7 action here at ISF 2019. See you tomorrow.